Welcome here today to my biggest rebuild ever. Yes, you read the title correctly. It is going to be a 20-year rebuild with the Los Angeles Lakers here on NBA 2K21. What's going on, everybody? How's everybody doing today? I've been wanting to do this for a little bit now. It was kind of hectic for me. It was at the end of school. I had finals, graduation, kind of postgraduate trips, stuff like that. But today, I'm finally starting my recording of the 20-year rebuild. I'm probably going to do this in like three to four sittings. So if I'm wearing a shirt, three different shirts in this video, you know why. Because usually the 10-year rebuilds take me about two, two and a half hours to record. This might take me four total hours. And if you guys enjoy the video, if you watch it all the way through, I'm sure it's going to be my longest rebuild ever that isn't a live stream. Drop a thumbs up if you do enjoy it and if you want to see me do more of these. So I chose the LA, LA Lakers because they're usually one of the biggest teams to do. And I was like, you know what? We're starting something new, something I've never done before, a 20-year rebuild. Let's do it with one of the biggest teams in the NBA, the LA Lakers. We're going to be getting uh, the rest of LeBron's career. Then we're getting like the post-LeBron AD era. And then eventually, we're going to be getting a completely new era here with a bunch of like maybe auto-generated players down the line because we got 20 years here. So... I don't think I'm going to make any trades to start the video. We're just going to go through season number one, see if the Lakers win it all. Okay, so in our first year, LeBron gets MVP. We are the one seed. If somebody like wants, like actually watches the full video, wants to put in the comments how many MVPs we get, how many championships we get, how many one seeds we get, just kind of give us everybody a quick recap. I'm sure I'll do a, a big recap at the end of this. But yeah, we get all the first team with LeBron. Obviously, AD gets all NBA second team. And then do we get AD on all defensive second team? We do. There we go. So we are the one team taking on Portland, a rematch of round one from the 2020 playoffs from the bubble. Uh, we could see that our... I also say that I did re-sign Dennis Schroeder to a three-year extension. Could still trade him. Just didn't want to lose out on him. So we could take a look here at the player stats that LeBron stud, AD stud. Dennis Schroeder was very good for us this year. Yeah, I'll take that. Montrezl Harrell, Andre Drummond. We'll see if we can bring back one or two of these guys in the offseason. We got Kuzma, KCP, Caruso, Wesley Matthews, and THT. Not really doing too much here. He might be a trade candidate for me in the offseason, or is he under contract next year please tell me he's got a team option now all right maybe a sign and trade but let's see what happens in round one here against the portland trailblazers and we end up don't lose don't lose okay we win in seven and there we go we got the la clippers versus the la lakers here in round two the clippers do have carmelo anthony now so let's see what happens here we end up beating them in five memphis you're not beating us. There's no way. So are we going to win the NBA championship in year one? I don't know. We have to face the Bucks, which is pretty tough. So let's see what happens. I don't even do anything to this team. And we win the finals. We win in five ADs. Your finals MVP. We're one for one. Yeah, this is actually the 20 title rebuild challenge we're trying to win every year so do we have our first round pick we do and if you want to see me do this like maybe the team that's not as good right now but has set themselves up for the future like the okc thunder new orleans pelicans orlando magic let me know down below definitely so we're going to keep the coaching staff the same i do have my first round pick correct it is at 30 all right uh do we want to make a trade is also another thing we could think about i mean like i wouldn't mind unloading kcp and marcus saw in a package deal for maybe another first portland maybe so yeah we're going to be picking up two first round picks from the portland trailblazers for kcp and marcus saw so we now have 15 and 30 i'll see you guys with our two new rookies oh my god look who has fallen to 15 oh my god a guy that's gonna go top five in real life jonathan kuminga is still here at 15 yeah that's who i'm taking this like has been the luckiest start to this 20 year rebuild we won it all didn't have to make any moves for that and a top five player falls to me at 15 i mean like what an absolute steal in the second round i wouldn't my franz wagner's here at 30 yeah i'm taking him with the last pick in the first round so we get him under contract for four years look at that kuminga and franz wagner are you serious so harold opts out as expected not gonna be bringing back alfonso mckinney Kawhi would love to bring Kawhi here but we don't really have the cap space for that. We don't have the facilities for that. It's big man. So, uh, Drummond, we do have bird rights on. Same with Harrell. I might offer Drummond a deal. If I give him 23 mil a year for four years, but I want to front load it. If he doesn't accept 24 mil, actually, we'll do 25. So, I'll go down each year. Uh, let's see if he accepts that. Harrell would also like to bring back just as a nice bench piece. We're going to give him 18 mil for four years, for three years, but I'm going to front load that. And then Caruso. 
I'm going to give him a two-year deal. Boom, there we go. So we get Drummond, we get Harrell, and we get Caruso. Welcome back. We're going to renounce the rights on Macklemore, Matthews, um, and Markeith Morris, but I would like to bring back THT. Now, I don't think we have bird rights on THT, which is annoying because then if I wanted to sign him um, on the qualifying offer, I can't trade him because he doesn't have or he'll have a no trade clause. So if I type in... Gordon Tucker here. And we try to sign him. Yeah, he wants 7.62 mil. We can only offer him 2.66 mil. So we're just going to have to wait and get him back on the qualifying offer. Which, okay, no, he's going to take a deal from the Raptors on like literally the last day of free agency. Can we match that? We can. Now, I don't know. Does this mean he has a no trade clause still? Let's see. Oh, of course he does. Will he accept it anywhere? Okay, he would. Uh, honestly, I wouldn't mind picking up some draft capital for Fiddy or for Taylor Horn Tucker. First round pick from the Pacers. First round from the Raptors. First rounder from the Bulls. You know what, let's pick up these Bulls first on picks in 2025 and 2023. Boom, there we go. LeBron does regress, but that is expected from a 36-year-old. We got AD, Drummond, Harrell. Like, a bunch of these guys could end up getting moved. Wait, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, perfect. So, Franz Wagner will be getting rotational minutes next year. Okay, so we will have three training camps here. Shout out to our trainer. I'm going to send Kuminga down to potential. Stays at an A. I'm going to send Franz Wagner there. And then finally, I'm going to send, I guess, Kyle Kuzma. It's on top potential. He's 26, though. Eh, and he might. I don't know how long he'll be on this team for. So, uh, Shumper definitely won't be the starting shooting guard. I don't even know who's going to start at the two for us. Jeez. Uh, it's probably going to be Caruso. Yeah, so Caruso's going to get like 23 minutes a night. Uh, let's go 30 there. We can go one more to Kuzma. So yeah, it's going to be Schroeder, Caruso, LeBron, AD, and Drummond with a bench of Harold, Kuzma, Kuminga, and Wagner. We take a look at our salary cap. Actually, we could just show you these as a proficiency real quick. Three and a half star perimeter centric. It's the highest, so we'll stick with that. And then I did want to show you guys the salary cap breakdown. So we'll see when LeBron tires. I have no idea when this could happen. We're locked up with these guys. So we're kind of chilling with our table for now so i'll see you guys at the end of season number two and let's see if we can repeat so we are the one seed once again at the end of season number two so we're two for two with one seed so far you know what i will take that i also re-signed lebron to a two-year extension which will bring him to his age 40 season i don't know if he's gonna retire before then we will have to wait and see but i gotta bring back lebron as always you know uh we can see that ad got all defensive second team does kaminga get all rookie team he does he gets all rookie second team he's very good Man, like him and Franz Wagner got it. Okay, like they're going to be kind of part of the future once LeBron is gone and help like build a team around Anthony Davis. We're taking on the Spurs who have Doug McBuckets, Evans Canner, a couple former Knicks. They also have Evan Mobley there. Taking a look at the season two stats. We can see that LeBron led us in scoring. Shooter was very good. Man, Shooter's been pretty good for us. I really can't complain about him. There's Drummond averaging a double-double, 13 and 12. Montrez Harrell. And then you got Kuminga, Kuzma, Wagner, and Caruso. So can we knock off the Spurs in round one and go on to round two? And that is the case. We beat them in five. But now we got the Dallas Mavericks here. Will they be the first team to beat us? No, we sweep them. Pelicans, will they beat the first team to beat us? No, we win in six. Celtics, come on, come on. Yes, we start off the first two seasons of this video with a with two rings let's go we're going for the three-peat next year these were the player stats for the playoffs shout out to lebron shout out to ad shout out to uh shooter when mickey and a disney they got it done man we are two for two to start this video is the over under for rings in this video 10 is like probably 10 now we do have i think uh portland's first round pick and look at that it's at 11 we win it all and we get a lottery pick the pelicans do get our pick at 30 but hey we have a lottery pick i can't complain so let's make sure we bring back frank vogel jason kidd and Lionel hollands hopefully we can afford all that so let me just see Lionel hollands uh, he doesn't accept our deal he probably got a head coaching job elsewhere that does suck a little bit did jason kidd sign i'm guessing jason kidd also signed which is annoying all right so i'm gonna go through chip angle is my first assistant boom there we go and my next one can be kenny atkinson let's let's get him up uh we're good with gregory peterson and then as a head scout we can lock up Dion blount um or no he's an assistant coach so we do get kenny atkinson blount honestly let's see yeah i guess he's probably one of the better guys out here so let's give him 550k he'll probably accept that on the last day and there we go. So we have the 11th overall pick here in the 2022 lottery. This player that we select is going to be a big part of our future. So let's hit on it. I don't think I'm going to trade up at all. So I'll see you guys at rookie signings with who my 11th overall pick was. And it is going to be Kennedy Chandler. I do like Huntley Halfell, but I think Kennedy Chandler, we could use that point guard for the future once then a shooter is gone. All right. So we can see that Kennedy Chandler is a 78 overall. We are set up 
beautifully for the post-LeBron era with Kuminga and Chandler. Uh, so we're not going to have any cap space. We'll see if there's any free agents really out there. Um, we won't really have much cap space anyway. We do have a small mid level exception. But at this moment, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we have plenty of depth there. So we're not going to go out and sign anybody. So we're just going to renounce the rights. We do have a $5 million trade exception. But I don't think I'm going to end up using it. I'm going to run this team back, but just play Kennedy Chandler. Most likely going to be a 10-man rotation. Or I might trade Caruso. Like, we don't really need Caruso. And he only has one year left on his deal. And the OKC Thunder are willing to give me their 2024 unprotected first round pick for him. Yeah, since we got Kennedy Chandler, we're going to bring in or trade Caruso. I guess that means Kennedy Chandler might start at the two, though. We do have three training camps. So I'm actually going to send Kennedy Chandler to combo guard. Let's do that. Boom. Uh, let's send... Hmm. I think we're going to send Kuminga. No, he's A+. plus. So we're going to send Franz Wagner on top potential. And we are going to do the same with Kyle Kuzma. So let's see what the rotation for season number three is going to look like. We're trying to three-peat already. All right, so here's the starting five. Schroeder, Chandler, LeBron, AD, and Drummond. The bench is Harold, Kuminga, Kuzma, and Wagner. Taking a look at system proficiency, it is three and a half star perimeter centric. We'll stick with that again. We're going for our third title to start the 20-year rebuild. Let's get it. All right, so we end up as the one seed once again to start the video. Three straight years of one seeds. We don't get coach of the year at all. Bobo gets most improved. Do we get anybody on all NBA first or second team? We do get LeBron on second team. Okay, let's go. His efficiency wasn't very good this year, actually. Interesting. All right, so he's regressing. Uh, AD there at 13. We did give AD a contract extension till his age 33 season, and then we'll have to reassess. Okay, is he regressing hard enough where we don't want to pay him anymore? Uh, we do get Anthony Davis on all defensive second team. We get Kennedy Chandler on all rookie first team. He was an absolute stud. So we actually will have a couple free agents this summer, or really it's just Kyle Kuzma. I believe if he opts out, which I think he will. And then we do have Schroeder and Harrell next offseason. So one of those guys could be a potential trade candidate during draft night. Uh, we can take a look at player stats. Two guys scored 19, Chandler and LeBron. You had A Disney there. You, I gotta stop calling him that. Sorry. Um, Schroeder's efficiency should drop off a little bit this year. It goes down three percentage points there. Uh, we can see that Harrell, 14 and 7. There's Kuminga, who I would like to maybe. There's Because there's no way I can really start him unless we move 80 to the 5. Uh, we got Drummond who average a double double. There's Kuzma and Wagner. So can we beat the Minnesota Timberwolves in round one? Who have added Zach Collins to their team? They've also added Tyus Jones. There we go. So let's see what happens in round one. We should be able to beat them as we end up gentlemen sweeping them. Very nice. Now we got the Pels who have Colin Sexton now. Okay. Uh, they also have added Neurons the Well. Brought back him. He was once a Pelican back in the day no no he wasn't he was technically drafted by the pelicans but was traded for drew holiday i'm tripping don't know why i said that they also have caleb love and nicholas batum let's see what happens here as we end up winning in six wow we're really trying to three-peat to start the video all right let's see what happens can we beat the nuggets and go to the finals and we do oh my god we're taking on the hornets who are good in the sim they've also added chris middleton moses moody Jonas valanciunas alonzo boucher They've added a lot of talent here in Charlotte. Let's see what happens. The 2023 NBA Finals ends in a Hornets seven-game series victory. Damn, because I was like, do we just try to attempt the Bill Russell challenge as LaMelo wins it or he's Finals MVP? That does suck. So LeBron does not retire. We get him for another season. I don't know if we have that Blazers pick once again, but either way, I they might have made the playoffs. So we have the Bulls pick at 26. That would have been a nice pick. Uh, we also have our pick at 28. And the Hawks at Portland's pick a three. Okay, so I know next year's draft, we have OKC's pick. So if they're bad next year, woo, we get their first on pick. Uh, we do need to bring back Gregory Peterson, one of the most important staff members to our team. So we do have two late first round picks. They could use to pack or try to package these to move up. I also could try to move them via trade. Like if we want to move on from Dennis Schroeder and those two first, what could we get? Buddy Heal provide us some shooting and like a true shooting guard. But I mean, we also get to move up with this too. Not a bad idea. Antoine Watson. I'm a big fan of him, but I kind of want like a shooting guard. All right, so we're going to do this trade with the Clippers. We're trading expiring contracts healed for Shooter. We're giving them two first round picks and they're giving us a first round pick. So welcome to the LA Lakers, buddy. Healed. We have pick 17 in this draft. Uh, I don't think... Uh, do I trade Harrell? Isaac. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Sabonis. And uh, it would cost me that Thunder pick. I think I want to hold on to that Thunder pick, though. I would love to trade for Sabonis, but I don't really know what it would cost me because, like, that means, like, because we, we'd have Sabonis at the 580 to 4. Yeah, like, it would be tough to really play all the guys. We could move Drummond in that first, which I'm not going to do. So I'm just going to stand put. 
or uh, stay put with where we're at. We'll probably address Montrose Hill maybe at the trade deadline or just let him walk next offseason. So, uh, Monty Bates goes one to the Thunder. And we are going to draft Jerace Walker here, a small forward out of IMG Academy. So, let's sign Jerace Walker. He's a 78 overall. We'll also sign Kristen Felder too. All right. So, t bar options, Kuminga and Wagner. Let's bring in Kuzma ops out. I think we're going to be letting Kuzma walk. Uh, I'm sure he would love to stay with the Lakers if this were real life. But for us, I don't really think I need to pay Kuzma. He wants 22 mil. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna move on from Kuzma. So do I have a rotation without him? One, two, three, four holy wings. Should have took a backward guy. So that's six guys, seven, eight, nine. Um, I guess we can roll with that. We just really want I, I guess LeBron can just basically be our backup point guard. Um yeah, we really have no money. So I'm going to bring out the right to Kuzma. We'll see where he ends up. I'm not bringing him back. So we ended up, uh, yeah, not bringing back Kuzma. Like I said, I do want to see what team he ended up signing with. And he ended up signing with the Utah Jazz on a one-year deal worth about 16 mil. Player progression, LeBron has regressed down to a 92 overall. Surprise, he is still yet to retire. He's going to be turning 39 this season. So let's hope that the Thunder are bad this year because then I will definitely regret not trading away their pick. So I'm going to send Kuminga down to potential. I'm going to send Kennedy Chandler, and I'm going to send uh, Jerace Walker right there. He was already an A plus though. Okay, so here is what the nine man rotation is going to look like: Chandler, Heald, LeBron, AD, and Drummond, with a bench of Kuminga, Harold Walker, and Franz Wagner. System proficiency is three and a half star perimeter centric. Uh, we will stick with that because it's been working out. I know I should maybe go to four star balance, but we're going to stick with perimeter centric. And I'll see you guys at the end of this season, unless I'm going to decide to trade Montrezl Harrell. But I'd like to just go all in this year and still try to win another ring before LeBron retires. And then we're kind of not in the dark ages, but really just it's uncertain. Like, I don't know what's going to happen with this team once LeBron leaves. I guess Kuminga slides in at the three. AD's getting older. It'll be interesting to say. Four years in, four one seeds. I mean, you can't complain what's going on here in LA. Frank Vogel gets coach of the year. I forgot if he even got that in year one. I'm not sure. We don't get anybody on all NBA second team for the first time in this video. The first two teams. We do get Anthony Davis on all NBA third team now. Okay. He's getting up there in age of 31. Uh, do we get AD on defense the second team? We do once again. Uh, Grady Dick. On there, I'm so immature. Oh, uh, we don't get uh, Jerry's Walker there on an all rookie team. We're taking on the Suns, who have none and Booker, Bridges, Hayes, and Aiden, with a bunch of Miller, Smith, Najee, and Edmund Summer. A bunch of guys from the 2021 class, or excuse me, 2020 class. But Kennedy Chandler led the way in scoring, like he is our franchise guy. Once LeBron is gone, LeBron wanted an extension. I didn't give it to him because he has two years left, so I'll just wait till next year. He was a scoring, bu uh, Buddy Yield was a stud. Do we bring him back? I mean, maybe. He's 31, though. We'll see how much he's asking for in free agency. There's Kuminga. He's got one more year before he's a free agent. I'd like to give him starting minutes, though. Like, put him in the starting five. I mean, I guess they could put LeBron at the one and Chandler at the two. Maybe I'd do that if we lose uh, If we lose Buddy Heald. But let's see. Do we knock off the Phoenix Suns? Uh, oh, my God. It's close. And we win in seven. Now we got the Sacramento Kings. We have Marcus Bagley. They don't have Marvin Bagley anymore. They have a Dembona, Chet Holmgren, Oladipo, Warren, Ken Birch, and DeLon Wright. Let's see what happens here in round two after we, or as we beat him in five. We got the Grizzlies here in round three. Love the DiVincenzo pickup. And, eh, I think Valentin is better than Nurkic. Uh, Nurkic. But uh, DiVincenzo and Morant, I love that backcourt so much. And for the fourth year to start this video, we're in the NBA Finals. <laughs> they have Rozier and Shea. It's fine. They have Allen, um, Foster, and Okoro. Shia Odom off the bench. Can we win our th third title of the video? Yes, we win in seven. Another close one. Our last three finals have been decided in seven games. We beat Boston, lost to Charlotte, and beat Cleveland. LeBron gets another finals ring. Does he call it a quits? No, he doesn't. He's still playing. LeBron does not want to retire. We are almost a quarter way from this video. Uh, We're about to hit season number five. Let's see. Do we have any other picks? So we have that Thunder pick. It's at seven. Not going to be as good as I thought it would be. Just kidding. Let's go. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. We get lucky in the lottery. It goes from seven to one. Man, we take... Oh, wait, wait. Is this who I think draft class this is? Or is he next year? Oh my god. Oh my god. Is this it is Brody. I gotta take Brody one. I gotta get Brody and LeBron on the same team. It's oh, but I kinda want Mikey Williams though. Oh, people are gonna get mad at me if I don't take Brony. Cause I love Brony and Braun on the same team. Ah damn it. Let's see who I'm gonna take. Alright, just because like Brony's more of a one. Are he's 6'8? Jesus. Okay, so I guess he could be a two. 
All right. I, I want Mikey Williams, but I'm going to get Bronny just because we have LeBron. Yep. So Bronny will be the starting two this year. Bron will be the starting three. I had to do it. It's pretty cool. Okay, so yeah, he's a 79 overall. Mikey Williams is a 79 as well. We'll take a look at rookie signings. We got Ray Francis there with Mr. Relevant. Don't know if I'll ever play for us. So uh, we're going to be bringing back Kaminga, Chandler, Wagner, and Felder. Kaminga and Wagner will be free agents next year. Qualifying offers keep Dean Allen. Yeah, we're going to let him walk. So we do have Harold and Heald that are free agents. Um... Earl wants 23. He'll only wants 18. So if we look at our team, we have one, two. I'm going to move Bronny to a shooting guard, actually. So he goes up to an 82. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So I only really need to bring back one of these guys. I think I want to bring back Healed. Yeah. I'm actually just going to give him a two-year deal on that team option. I think I'll actually accept that. Boom. There we go. So we are going to bring out the right to watch his Harold. I don't want to commit to him long term. I guess I could have gave him a one-year deal, but we already have our nine guys anyway. I guess technically we don't really have a backup big. I guess like one of these guys are big enough, you know? Uh, so let's go here to player progression. So player progression, 80s and 96. LeBron's down to a 90. Drummond down to an 86. He's in the last year of his contract too. So we could have like two max slots next offseason or at least one if LeBron retires and Drummond's going to be a unrestricted free agent. So let's go here to training camps. This will be the first year with an auto-generated class. We do have three training camps. So I want to see who's not an A+. plus. That I'd like for it to be an A+. plus. So Kennedy Chandler, let's get him up to an A+. plus. Bronny James I saw was also... not. Oh, it said he was an A. Okay, it's annoying. Uh, and then let's see who else is Kaminga. Uh, see, it says Bronny's an A. It's annoying. So let's send Jace Walker there. They don't even want to start LeBron for me anymore. That's how old he's getting. All right, so here is the starting five. Kennedy, Chandler, Bronny, James, LeBron, James, Anthony Davis, and Andre Drummond. With a bench of Jonathan Kaminga, Jace Walker, uh, Buddy Hield, and Franz Wagner. Perimeter centric is going to be three and a half stars. We will stick with that. I'll see you guys at the end of the fifth season. And are we going to go to five straight championships to start off this 20 year rebuild? Would be kind of crazy. So it is our first season not getting the one seed in year five. We end up as the five seed of uh, Lamelo's MVP, Bayfall Rookie of the Year, Defoe Dante, six man. Defensive Player of the Year goes to Isaac. Most improved, Brandon Boston. I could have drafted him. I could have. I Mike Brown, Coach of the Year. Okay. Do we get any? Wow, Michael Foster on the first team. Damn. Uh, I'm sure we won't get anybody on the second team or third team. Uh, we don't get all defensive first team or all defensive second team. Damn. Okay. But we do get Bronny. He might be an all-NBA player one day. We will see. So we are the five seed taking on the four seeded Rockets who have a Garland Bailey backcourt. A Bailand backcourt. <laughs> Elijah Fisher, Paul Banchero. They have no Jokic too. It's a pretty sell. Oh, Sky Clark. Damn. They have a good team there. Uh, taking a look at the player stats. Kennedy Chandler led us in scoring. AD was open to an extension. I didn't give it to him. But his efficiency... From three and from the line weren't very good this year. Okay, uh, is he regressing? I don't bring him back. That is a that is a thing. I might not bring AD back. I don't know. LeBron, I gave him a one year extension, but I think that might be the last one I give him. He's forty years old for crying out loud. I gotta stop paying this dude. Uh, there's Kaminga and Bronny. Like these are kind of the future right there. Like Bronny, Kaminga, and Kennedy Chandler. There's Heald and Drummond and Jerace Walker and then Franz Wagner. So can we knock off the Rockets and continue our NBA Finals streak so we sweep them? Okay. Taking on the Warriors in round two. They are a one seed. They got Mitchell, Clay, Green, Homie, Alpha, Wiseman. They don't have Curry anymore. We should be able to beat them, right? Come on, come on, come on. No, we lose in five. So there goes our four straight final series appearance streak. And the Pacers sweep the Suns to win the 2025 NBA Finals. So here we are in the fifth season's offseason. Or, yeah, we're going into the sixth season next year see you can tell that's a new day for me uh lebron does retire there he goes uh so our first year not going to the finals he's like yep that's it if i'm not going to the finals anymore i gotta hang it up he retires after 21 years in the nba at the age of 40 i don't know if he'll make it to the hall of fame it'll be very close because will his numbers be inflated because he played too long okay he makes it to the hall of fame ah, i guess you can give it to them um so he gets his jersey retired by four teams the Heat, the Cavs, the Lakers. Just kidding. I don't know why I thought Blake Griffin was also LeBron. Uh, three teams, and Blake gets his jersey retired by the Clippers. He retires as well. Let's reject all of these. Draft a lottery. I don't know if we have... Whoa, I think I saw our team there. Yeah, from Chicago at 14. That would be fairly nice. I doubt 14 is going to go up to one, and it does not. So there's a bunch of trades that are via other teams in the top five, or picks that I should say. So we have 14 and 21 in this year's draft. Looking at the future, we can keep Vogel... Chip Englund and Kenny Atkinson for now, even though we might go with a different regime kind of since LeBron is gone. So it's a new era. We're kind of in era two now of the LA Lakers, the post-LeBron era. And honestly, we might be entering era three pretty soon because the AD era, 
I don't know how much longer it's going to be. Uh, we'll see what he can do as the number one at the age of 32. Drummond's a free agent. Like I said, we're going to kind of have the core of Chandler, Bronny, and Kuminga as the future. Even Jerry's Walker will be a big part of the team. So we do have two first round picks. This is the first auto generated draft class, correct? Yes, it is. All right, uh, so we'll see who falls to me down the line. We could maybe use those picks to move up in the draft. If we wanted to move 14, 21, and 20, I think we could make kind of a, a mini splash. Move up to eight, maybe? Uh, let's see, who's got eight? It is the Chicago Bulls. I think they would... Uh, I don't know if they're going to do this. Yeah, they don't do eight. I'll go as high as nine. If not, then it's not worth it just to go up to 10. So who's got pick nine? It is the Orlando Magic. Will they do this? And they do. Okay, so we have the ninth pick in the 2025 NBA draft. Let's see who we end up with. All right, so it's definitely going to be a shooting guard, it looks like. We could go Scott Powell. We could go Quinn Griffin, who's 21 in the center. I mean, we could use some centers for the future. Now that Drummond could possibly be gone i don't know if i'm gonna re-sign drummond we'll see and you know what yeah we should probably go for a big man over a wing player so i'm gonna end up going with quinn griffin ah but i mean 2k don't like him that much hmm i kind of want someone that's a consensus yeah lembrose alexander is rated really high it's just he's gonna be overseas for a year he's 22 but you know what i'm gonna take him anyway let's take him we're not gonna get him next year he'll be in greece for one more year and then we'll get him in the 2026 season so B barney bowman looks really good wallace barry carroll Wow, another Barry, Car Barry Carroll drafted number one overall. And Alexander Spurgeon is signed 73 overall. Hopefully when he comes over, he's like a 75, 76. Team player options, picking him up on Chandler Walker and Francis. I think I'm going to pick him up on Buddy Heald. If we need to move him, we can. Uh, I don't know if we're going to have a contract slot. I mean, we could. I mean, Kuminga, we're going to have to pay. Feldler, I mean, we could offer all these guys the qualifying offers. So let's just hope that Kuminga doesn't get a deal right away. Um, we do have Drummond that's a free agent. If I were to move... See, like, I wouldn't mind going after Tatum. We can afford Tatum. Wow. And then I, I would move Buddy Yield. This is kind of the next era. Uh, we bring Jason Tatum then to LA. He leaves Boston. We could look at Donovan Mitchell as well, but I kind of like the idea of getting Jason Tatum. Yeah, so we're going to go all in on Jason Tatum. Let's give him 43 mil for four years. Player option, no trade clause, the whole shebang. Does he maybe want to sign with us? Oh, yeah, we're his only offer. So we're going to be picking up Jason Tatum. And in order to sign Tatum and keep, like, some of these other guys, I think I'm going to be moving Buddy Heald. And I think I found the trade I like. I'm just kind of exploring all my options. We could just get two first-round picks from the Kings. Send them back there now. That wouldn't really make a lot of sense. So what I'm going to do is this trade right here with the San Antonio Spurs. We're sending Buddy Heald to the Spurs for Terrence Shannon, who has two years left on his rookie contract at a fairly oh it's just one more year but i guess oh i guess he didn't play his rookie season well that's annoying so that kind of changes some things if he's an expiring contract uh we could go after frank beasley who was just drafted 27th overall and we get a first but you know what i'm gonna take turn mm, yeah i i still think i'm gonna do that trade we're gonna pick up shannon and that first round pick in 2029 for my yield so let's sign jason tatum let's not renounce the rights on okay we're gonna that means drummond is gone if we're signing Tatum, which is fine because we're going to move 80 to the five. Uh, but Kuminga, all right, it, it's between Franz and like Franz hasn't been that big of a part of this team. So I'm obviously choosing Kuminga. We're going to max out Kuminga after moratorium. I don't know if 2K will glitch and still allow me to sign like Andre Drummond after this. So let's see. So let me offer uh, Kuminga this five-year contract. We're going to front load this as well. So it'll actually be a great deal. He'll probably accept that. Boom, there we go. And then if I go to my affordable high overall, yeah, we can still sign like somebody else out here. Um, let me actually just sign Kuminga first and then let me see who I can sign because I don't want this to really affect who I pick up. Okay, so yeah, we can go out and get somebody that's a nice depth guy. We could go for another big because AD will be our center. So we'll have, yeah, we could use another big. Yeah, all right. So we're going to go out and get a center. Um, Chris Boucher, he's 32. We could get Cam Johnson, but he's not really a big Tony Bradley's only 27, so I'm going to sign Chris Boucher to a two-year deal worth about six mil, and he should sign that, so he'll be our backup center for the next two years. Player progression, AD has started to regress. I think I'm going to look to re-sign him, though, on a one- to two-year deal because we don't really have a lot of other options uh, because we're paying Kuminga a lot of money. We're hoping he balls out, like, without LeBron, and he'll be in a higher volume role. We just signed Jason Tatum. He's going to be here for the, at least the next, like, eight seasons, basically, because I'll probably look to re-sign him. So we have somewhat of a, like, a... Uh, okay nine-man rotation. I don't know if we're going to be finals favorites next year. We might still need, like, Brody to develop, Jarese Walker, and some of these other guys. I don't know why I'm trying to download a class. We're going to go to auto-generated. Training camps, let's see. We do have three of these. Let's see who is on top potential and who isn't. So let's send Brony there. Oh, okay, why'd you tell me he was A when you're going to tell me he was already an A+. Uh, we're going to send Terrence Shannon there. And then I guess we... See, like, we'll get this guy overseas next year, which is nice. We'll send, um... 
Ray Francis was Mr. Relevant in 2024. He might be in the rotation. I'm not really sure. We'll see. Okay, so AD is definitely going to be at the five. He's going to be getting 33 minutes a night. Tatum, 35 at the four. Or no, we're going to play Kuminga. Kuminga, 68. Tatum, uh, yeah, we'll play Kuminga at the four. Tatum at the three. Tatum will get 35. Kuminga will get 33 as well. Brawny, 33. And then 33 to Kennedy Chandler playing the 75. A hefty amount of minutes. Francis, yeah, we said to Marcus Cousins. How old is he? 35. Francis will get 10 minutes. Shannon, Boucher, and Walker. So Walker's going to get like 27, Boucher 20, and let's go 16 to Shan. Or, yeah, what I said there. Um, We're going to change Tatum to a small forward. He goes up to a 99 overall. We just signed a 99 overall, man. He wants to be the next Laker great. LeBron is gone. AD really hasn't emerged as that all time great. He's going to be a, a legend. I mean, like a great player for the Lakers, but maybe not in that Kobe, Magic, Kareem, LeBron like West category. So uh, AD, if I move him to center, he goes down. So we're just going to keep him there. Um, so if I move Kaminga, he'll go down as well. So we'll just keep him there as well. System efficiency under Frank Vogel is four stars. We'll see if this is his last year in LA. I mean, under his current contract, it's one year left. I mean, we might go with a different head coach next year. We'll see because Frank Vogel has been very good for us. And I'll see you guys at the end of season number six. So we end this season as the one seat back up to the one seat in the Western Conference, fifth in the power rankings. And Devo of the Raptors is your MVP. Look at that. I did not expect to see Devo winning an MVP in this video. He is 30 years old now. Nico Mannion wins Rookie of the Year. What? Finally, six years later, after he's drafted, he gets a high volume role. Whatever. Whatever. Ajo was six man of the year. Isaac, defensive player of the year in Miami. All right. Washington, most improved. He was a high pick, right? Now 19. And then Steve Kirk takes on coach of the year. So we see Luca Foster on the Cavs. Jokic on the Rockets. That is your first team. Second team, you got Morant, Simmons, Zion, Imani Bates on the Thunder. Chad Holmgren on the Kings, and then third team. So we don't see Jason Tatum. Did I, maybe I should increase his shot tendency. I'm not too sure what I should have done. All David's the first team and second team. I did resign Anthony Davis to a three or two year extension. So we'll be paying him till his age 35 season. But I think that might be the last year. Um, and that'll be kind of the end of era two, the AD era. Um, so here's all rookie first team, all rookie second team. Hey, Ray Francis making the cut. So I do want to see what Jason Tatum's shot tendency is at. It's at a 98. Okay. I think I want to move 80 up to a 90. Bronny and Chandler could be 85. 80 to Kuminga. These guys can kind of just fall in their place. Okay. So we are taking on the 18 to Kings in round one. Uh, that rivalry. Uh, we'll see if it's going to get renewed. Uh, Dembona, he develops like a stud in this game. 10th overall pick. Cole, uh, Levert, Warren. They got a different team now. Holmgren, Noel. They still have Jabari Parker. He ended up back there. Uh, Burks, Birch, and Wagner. We, if we had Franz, it would have been the Wagner versus Wagner series. Tatum led the team in scoring with 23 points, 4 net assists, 5.7 rebounds, and was well above 50-40-90. Wow. 54-44-94. Incredible. Kenny Chandler, 20 and 7.5. 47 from 3, 92 from the line. This guy's going to be a stud. Kuminga, let's go. No LeBron. He averages 39 from 3, 53 from the field, and 19 and 8. There's Brody James in his second year, 18 and a half and 7 and a half. 50, 40, 90 for Bronny. AD, 17 and a half points, 8.7 rebounds. Efficiency has been dropping. It's been dropping. Uh, Drace Walker is really good as a sixth man. He'll have another year before he's a free agent. And then there's Boucher, Shannon, and Francis. Can I take a look at, at uh, Alexandris, or overseas player? I can. He's, oh, he went down. Well, let's hope that changes. So can we beat the Kings in round one of the 2026 NBA playoffs? Two to two, three to two, and we lose in seven. LeBron is just at home saying, this is what happens when you don't have me. Tatum. You were so good. How did we not beat them? Game one, we ended up losing by six. Game two, we ended up winning by 18. Damn. I mean, it was AD. Ugh. Damn. Maybe I should have not even re-signed AD. That was, that was silly on my part because I actually might have had a max contract. Eh, no, because I'm paying Kaminga and Tatum. Eh. So, uh, d wins MVP. He does not get finals MVP, though. It goes to Jaden Hardy. I mean, that is an incredible backcourt. And then you got Jalen Lewis at the five. Still have Siakam. And it'll be and they have Jalen Duran. What? What? Oh my god, that's kind of crazy. All right, and they also have Denny of Dia. So Russ retires, Conley, Hayward, DeRozan, I guess, and Clay. So the players that would make the Hall of Fame out of these would definitely be Clay, Westbrook, and then DeRozan would probably be the closest out of these guys, but I don't think he'll get in unless he gets a ring at some point. Russ gets in. Yeah, 2K never puts Clay in for some reason. So it's draft lottery time. I don't know if we have any future picks from another team. I don't believe so. So we're going to be selecting at 28 in this upcoming draft. I actually do want to see really quickly if we do have a future pick from another team. Uh, we do just from the Spurs and that's from last year. So honestly, 
I think we're going to have a new era here. I think we are. Uh, I think I'm going to move on from Frank Vogel and look for a new head coach for the future. And I think we're in like the post player era. Yeah, we're going to go out. We're going to get Chris Paul. Definitely going to have to change his system, but we're going to offer him to be the next head coach for the LA Lakers. And we're going to bring on Carmelo Anthony as an assistant. So do we get both of them? Boom. There we go. And then finally, the third assistant. Do we just get Dwight Howard? I mean, I'm kind of thinking about it. Did he get signed? Oh, no, we're bringing in LeBron. We're bringing in LeBron. So Chris Paul's head coach, Mello and LeBron, shout out to the Banana Boat, are the assistant coaches. So let's go here to the NBA draft. This is kind of error two. LeBron is now coaching AD. Do I move AD, though? Nobody wants him. All right, that's fine. Ugh, I gave him a two-year deal. I'm going to regret that. Um, So let's just see who I take at 20. What was I, eight? I'm going to take Eric Ross or Gerald Cartwright here. You know, I'm going to go Gerald Cartwright, a center out of UMass. The first overall pick was Murray Sampson, a center. Then I went Al Blake, Wayne Patrick, Mac Reed, and some of these other guys. So rookie signings, Gerald Cartwright, Shannon Pierce in the second round we got, and then Lambros Alexander. Only 71, so we went down. Well, that hurts a lot. Zion unrestricted. Maybe I should have waited to go ahead and get Zion. Uh, qualifying offers. Let's give it to Kennedy Chandler. Ray Francis. Sure. Don't mind him coming back. And Terrence Shannon. So, oh, Luca is here. Oh, maybe I should have waited to not give Tatum that deal. But now I'm happy with Tatum. I don't get Tatum a lot. So Chandler, we're going to match whatever he gets. Shannon, hopefully we just get him back on the qualifying offer. Let's renounce the rights on these five players. So I do want to see really quickly if anybody is still interested in Anthony Davis. Uh, well, Ben Simmons. I mean, Clutch Con for Clutch Con. Actually, is 80 Clutch? I think so. Shy Odom. I mean, the Cavs, are they in like win now mode? No, doesn't look like it. Like, I would trade him to a team that's win now. I mean, Jalen Suggs would be nice. <laughs> Definitely. Let me see. Okay, so he doesn't really fit my team at Ah, oh, maybe I should just let eight. Because I, I, Anthony Edwards makes sense because they have Kawhi Leonard, so they're trying to win now. They're paying him a lot of money. They have a young backcourt in Wilson and Wallace and Matt Buey, so they're kind of like not like they would have their point guard shooting guard small forward power forward and 80 where their 80 would be their center so they're not really missing out on anthony edwards it's just like i have brawny james and kennedy chandler back there in the backcourt and i can't even make him at the three because what am i gonna play kuminga at the five i don't think i can really do that i don't think i can do that at all um so i'm not gonna do this trade we might revisit an 80 trade next year but we're gonna try to maybe hope he has a bounce back season i'm gonna pay Ke kennedy chandler like i said a lot of money and then shannon will definitely come back on the qualifying offer so chandler let's give him a five-year deal let's always front load these rookie contracts um and it'll actually be like 23 mil at the end of it so let's sign him really quickly come on there we go and yeah like by the end of it right it'll be fairly cheap so i'll probably just simulate yeah 22 mil yeah that's amazing um so let's see luca goes to the hawks I wonder if they still have Trey Young. I doubt it, right? No way. Uh, Zion goes to the Nets. Shade to the Mavericks. Steph to the Nets or back to the Nets, right? Back to the Nets. Uh, Beal to the Pacers. Uh, was to the Pacers for the first time. Bam to the Thunder. Love that. So I'll see you guys here at Player Progression. We should get Shannon and Francis back. Yeah, and there's Shannon and Francis. So Player Progression, we can see that Tatum's a 99. AD's still regressing. There's Brawny, Chandler, Kuminga. Walker Boucher, Francis 79, there's Shannon Alexander. So I don't know who's really going to be in the rotation next year and who won't be. So we have Chandler, Brawny, Tatum, AD, and Cartwright. Let's move AD to the five. Uh, and then let's throw Kuminga in there. So Cartwright, I don't even know if he'll be playing. Let me just figure out these starting minutes. So we're going to go 32 to the backcourt, 35 to Tatum, probably 30 to AD at this point, and then 32 to Kuminga. And we'll actually go 33 to these guys. Uh, I'm probably going to lower his shot tendency as well. Um, Walker will get 27. Boucher can get 16. Francis. Um, ah, Francis, I mean, he wasn't bad. But he'll be a free agent next year, right? I mean, I guess we could just kind of keep signing him on the qualifying offer. So instead of Terrence Shannon, who might walk, uh, not a great trade by me. Let's move Alexandris up there. And let's give him... 20 minutes. Let's see what he can do as a rookie. System proficiency under Chris Paul is four-star post-centric. I mean, Kuminga, Tatum, and AD fit that very well. Uh, we could stay with that, sure. But what I'm going to do is kind of edit the shot tendencies a little bit. AD is going to go down to 80. Uh, Bronny, Chandler, and hopefully Kuminga will be getting kind of more reps now and just more shots. So I'll see you guys at the end of the season. And let's see if we're going to be the one seed. And if we are to win a playoff series. So we end the season as the 14th this year. I'm fine with that as long as we win round one. Michael Foster takes home his first MVP in his fifth year in the NBA. He has had a great career trajectory. Chase Griffin, rookie of the year for the New York Knicks, 12th overall pick. 39 from 3, 99 from the line. Pretty good season. Dior Johnson, sixth man of the year. Let's see who he's backing up in um indiana is he a point guard or a shooting guard oh trey young's there in indiana so that makes sense i'm pretty sure he's a point guard right yeah so trey young's not on atlanta with luca isaac defensive player of the year for how many times is that now come on can we get some parody here six times i kind of want to just get isaac on my team and make him suck so we get somebody new a defensive player of the year okay 
Victor Wembanyama is a stud now in his fourth season, and Monty Williams takes home coach of the year. So first team you got Ja, Kate on the Pistons, Foster, Zion on the Nets, and Holmgren. Second team you got Embiid, Bayfall, Giannis, Lamelo, and Suggs. So shout out to Lamelo still being on the Hornets. That could change this offseason. Uh, but you still have Embiid on the Sixers and Giannis on the Bucks. And then third team you got Luca, Hardy. Wow, no Tatum. Damn. Uh, defensive first team, there you go. We still get AD and all defensive second team. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I would have shot tendency, but that's fine. We don't really need him to be too much of a scorer now. I think that might help us in the long run. Take it on Minnesota, a team that, yeah, is playing Edwards at the three. I guess Kawhi has regressed a ton, right? Yeah, Kawhi had an 87. So let's see. Actually, I can show you guys the stats before that. But yeah, they have Kawhi coming off the bench. So Tatum and Kuminga. Damn, yeah, Kuminga. I can't believe fell to us the 15 in year one. Like, that was the most luckiest thing ever. He was 54, 40, 74 splits. There's Kennedy Chandler, 18 points, 8 assists, 44 from 390 from the line. Brawny, Walker, and AD. There's Lambros Alexander, Ray Francis, okay, etc. Uh, so let's take a look here at the, or round one. Can we knock off the Timberwolves here in year seven? Come on, no, don't give me two years in a row with first round exits. Damn, so the Timberwolves end up beating us. They get swept by the Spurs, and the Rockets beat the Heat in six. Nikola Jokic is your finals MVP. Wait, what? He only averaged eight points that series? I'm so confused. Was that a glitch? Um excuse me he won finals mvp why wouldn't it have been sky clark oh, okay elijah fisher maybe amari bailey how did he not get finals mvp what in game two or in game one or yeah this is game two Jokic. yeah he actually averaged eight points i thought that was a glitch and the shot clock got messed up and it was at like 35 seconds wow so we're gonna have three people that are entering the hall of fame uh, Paul George and John Wall will be close. I think George might have a better resume due to him not being out as long as Wall. Um, but yeah, these three are definitely locks to make it. And even in 2K, they'll make it. So, okay, no. Uh, Paul George does make it. I didn't even know Willard retired. So yeah, he's going to be a lock. So Wall doesn't make it. Five players make it to the Hall of Fame. That is a big class. Five jerseys retired as well. KD gets a jersey retired by the Nets and the Thunder, not the Warriors, which I think we know will happen in real life. All right, league meetings. We will reject all these. Draft lottery. We are going to be selecting at, where are we? 20th in this draft. Uh, we kind of need to hit on some of these first round picks because they're going to be under cheap contracts long term. So we kind of need them to be good rotational guys. So NBA draft. Let's see who we take. And I ended up taking a guy by the name of Juan Munoz with our first pick. Here's kind of how the top five went. Alberto uh, Delgado. I thought it was Angel Delgado. He went to DePaul or I think Seton Hall. I always thought he was going to be a good NBA player. Just make it to the league to be a backup big. Didn't happen. Steve Strickland in the second round. Juan Munoz in the first. Uh, I doubt either one of them will play next year. Picking up the team option on Bronny James. Won't on Shannon Pierce. Yeah, not going to do that. Uh, Lamelo free agent. Devin Booker free agent. And Bede Levine. Wow, Bronny's up to a 93. Kind of crazy. Qualifying offers, we're going to give it to Walker and Francis. Ugh, we're going to have to pay them a lot of money. Wait, how do we have to pay... What? Wait, was Walker a different draft than Francis? Or than Bronny? Bronny was 2024. I guess Walker was 2023, correct? Yeah, that makes sense then. So, we're going to hopefully get him back on the qualifying offer. I mean, we can offer him bird rights. He'll be our long-term sixth man is really the... The objective of kind of signing him i guess i hope just to get francis back on the qualifying offer because i think he's a fine enough rotational guy so we're gonna renounce the rights on quinn cook i'm not gonna bring back terrence shannon really not worth it and shannon pierce boucher i might renounce the rights on him as well so yeah walker and francis are our two top priorities boom there we go amari bailey was there uh Jokic resigns with the rockets okay um when benny Yama resigns with the spurs bailey resigns with the rockets as well lamella ball joins the clippers and devin booker joins oh he was already on the hawks with luca that's kind of crazy so day two here is there a backup big we can go out and sign ken birch drew eubanks i mean maybe we might just not have any other options all right, so let's go out and sign Drew Eubanks to a two-year deal to be our backup center because uh, I don't know if Cartwright will ever develop into that. And boom, there we go. Let's go out and sign um, Drew Walker. 28 mil a year. Can we front load that? Would he accept that? No? Okay. Uh, so let's do just 29 mil a year and we will front load that. And he should accept that. And then I expect to get Francis back on the qualifying offer once free to see is done. So boom, there we go. I wonder if I can actually sign like one of these veterans like Kyrie on a minimum deal here on day 11. Come on. What, uh, it's the minimum. If I had like five mil, I think it would work. I mean, what about Levine? I mean, let me try this on day 12. So let's see. Uh, Levine, minimum. Okay, he's insulted. Uh, any other vets out here? Lonzo, minimum. Okay, he's insulted. And Wallace probably insulted. Okay, never mind. So we're not getting any one of those guys. We get back Ray Francis. Player progression, 80s down to 91. This will be his last year as a Laker. I am not re-signing him. So this is kind of the second era. The AD era is going to be done. And then we're kind of fully fledged into seeing if Tatum can carry this team. So training camps, we do have three. So I'm probably going to send... Hmm. 
Let's send Cartwright tons of potential. Let's send Francis. I mean, he's only 26. And then let's send Alexandris to on top potential. Oh, he's already 24. All right, so Eubanks is going to get like 15 minutes. Francis, 17. Do I play Cartwright or Alexandris this year? Um, You know, what? I'm going to play Cartwright. I'm going to play Cartwright 11, and Alexandris will not be playing. Uh, kind of a bust for me so far. So system proficiency is going to be four-star post-centric. We'll stick with that. And we are fifth in the power rankings. See you guys at the end of season number eight. So at the end of the eighth season, we finish up as the three-seed. Victor Wenbanyama is your MVP. Guy by the name of Homer Wen Wennington is your rookie of the year. So Spurs get rookie of the year and MVP. Trying out that... uh. That winning every award challenge, it goes to your Johnson. Isaac, again, gets traded. Still wins defensive player of the year. Ron Jackson, most improved. And then there's Williams and Phillips. So, yeah, you got Shea on the Mavericks. Lamelo on the Clippers. Giannis still loyal to his Bucks. Respect, respect. Trey on the Pacers. Cade, Bay, Zion, and Holmgren. And then there's on Bay 13. Yeah, I really thought Tatum was going to be on one of these. Like, Luca. What's going on with Luca? Why is he 13? Is he falling off? <laughs> uh, all defensive first team, here you go. Second team. 80 still making it. Uh, he was undecided to resign. Yeah, this was his last year as a Laker either way. We are taking on these six-seeded Kings who have Harmon, Levert, Hunter, Anabona, Holmgren, Warren, Lowry. I thought I was going to say Kyle Lowry. I was like, what? Also, the Terrence Shannon Revenge Series. Tatum drops 25 for us. There we go. That's what I want to see from him. There's Bronny, Kuminga, Chandler, Walker. That's kind of the big five next year. Unfortunately, Walker will always be the sixth man because we got uh Kuminga and Tatum there. And then we got AD, Francis Cartwright, and Eubanks. Cartwright could be our starting center next year. Honestly, he might. We'll see. Uh, so do we beat the Kings and finally get a first round win, which we haven't done in like three years? It was close, but we end up winning in seven. Tatum goes off. Same with Bronny. It's the Bronny playoff series. Yeah, these guys dropping uh, 20 apiece. It's kind of the big four right there. Uh, do we beat the Thunder who have Wagner, Cruz, Bates, Jackson, Adebayo, Bradley, Johnson, Baisley, Claxton, Nicholson? We are screwed. Game one, we end up losing by only four. Damn, can we come back and maybe win this series? Let's go! We win in seven! Yes, game seven, we won by five. Jerase Walker with 30 off the bench. I really hope I'm pronouncing his name right. Because that'd be embarrassing. So we got the Spurs uh, who have Ayo Dusumu, Monty Walker, Vassell. Not the greatest one through three. Just kind of development-wise. I mean, this moon is not bad. But they have Vanyama and Randall in that front court, And then they have Carter Jr., Griffith, Pascal, Homer Wennington, and Campaign. Can we go to the NBA Finals this year? Yes! They blow a 3-0 lead! What? Sorry for hearing my outlook go up. But 1-0, 2-0, 3-0. They blow a 3-0 lead. And in Game 7, we win by 28 points. Tatum. Oh my god, are we going to get another championship for the LA Lakers? Let's beat the Pistons. Yes, we win in five. And Tatum gets his first finals MVP. We're entering that new era. This was kind of the first, like, third era. We had the LeBron era in year one. We kind of had, like, the fringe Tatum AD era. But, like, AD's still on the team. But really, he didn't contribute that much. Eh, on the defensive end, still on defensive second team. But, man, this is Tatum's team now. We ended up beating this Pistons team. And let's go. We pick up, I think, our fourth title of the video let's see if we go to team history no, that's not what i want to check out i want to go to league history nba history that is our fifth fourth title of the video yeah pretty great so here is all the retirements jimmy butler probably will be going to the hall of fame and that's it maybe uh rudy gobert too i don't think 2k out oh, 2k put neither one of them in uh gobert does get his jersey retired by the jazz he was there for 15 years so uh league meetings let's reject all these stuff we don't want to change the shot clock uh we can go through the draft lottery here and we have the 30th pick I think we get the Spurs pick next year, but they're good now, so it really won't be much. We're good with our staff, so let's go to the NBA draft. It's going to be weird now not having AD, so I'm kind of hoping to hit on a big man here. Uh, I mean, we could look to move Eubanks and 30 to move up. No, I didn't really find anything I like. All right, so the number one overall pick, Leo Atkins, 18 years old, 81 overall. Well, that guy's going to be a stud in this league, so I ended up taking Jamal Cotton here at 30. 71 overall, uh, Leon Augustine with 57. Team player options, bringing back Cartwright, Alexander, geez, honestly, maybe. Yeah, he might be in the rotation because we're not uh, bringing back AD, who didn't retire. But Bronny James and Francis will probably get Francis back on the qualifying offer. Bronny will work on an extension for AD wants 44 mil. Yeah, that was his last year as a Laker. We are not bringing him back. So Bronny James gets a deal from the Blazers. I was hoping to get him after moratorium so I can front load it, but we're going to have to match that. It's a lot of money. Francis wants 18 mil, so I'm hoping just to get him back on the qualifying offer Aiden joins the Bucks or he's always been on the Bucks John Morant stays with his Grizzlies cool 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 at the Edwards stays with the Timberwolves very nice and AD sends a three-year deal with the Miami Heat oh have fun with that 
So we do have like a little bit of a mid-level exception here. I don't know if I'm going to use it because we have three, six, seven, eight. Yeah, like we have enough guys that I think we can go with next year as the reigning champions. So Tatum's a 99 overall. Brawny's up to a 95. Kuminga and Chandler are both 90s as well. Seeing nice player progression. Eubanks, I don't even know if he'll be playing. I might play Juan Munoz over him. I actually think I will. So for the ninth season here, I think we're going to go 33 to these guys. I would like to also go 33 to Kuminga. But let's go 27 to Walker. We're going to go 21 to Francis, 10 to Eubanks, and then Alexandris. Now, we're going to play Munoz over Alexandris. I, I think I'm giving up on him. So Munoz is going to get like 15 minutes a night. Let's go 32 there. We can go 27, 28, and then 20, oh, geez, 5. I guess we're playing Munoz 17 minutes. All right. So the proficiency is going to be 3.5 stars post-centric. So we're going to change that to 7 seconds which is four and a half stars. Yeah, let's go back to back. So we end this season as the two seed. Alberto Delgado ended up getting rookie of the year. Brandon Humley Hatfeld, how has he been doing? He's been still pretty consistent throughout his career. 25 years old. Isaac, new team, still defensive player of the year. Gerald Cartwright gets most improved. All right, I'm cool with that. And then there's Steve Clifford and Logan McFadden. Do we get any Lakers on an all-NBA team? Yes, we finally get Tatum. And he actually balls out 27 and a half points, 56, 47, 94. I act like he hasn't been elite for us because he has been efficiency wise. And Kuminga, yes, Kuminga breaks out at his age 26 season. You love to see it. We don't get any Lakers. There's AD. Yeah, you're paying him 40 million a year to put up those numbers. I mean, all defense on second team, good, but come on. Uh, he's basically like Jermon Green at this point. Uh, there is all NBA, or what am I, what am I saying? This is uh, the first round we're taking on the Pelicans. <laughs> I just had a massive brain fart there. They got Lamar Newman, Moses Moody, Ingram. I almost traded for Frank Beasley. Maybe I should have. Uh, they got KP, John Jackson, Keon Johnson, and Dylan Windler. Taking a look at the stats. Tatum, 27 net points. Kuminga was a beast. Chandler and Bronny, the backcourt, is an, just studs. Like 19 assists between them two. Jarius Walker was a beast. There's Cartwright, Francis, Munoz, and Eubanks. Let's see what happens in the 2029 playoffs. Are we able to knock off the Pelicans? Beat them in six. Thunder, we lose in six, too. So we can't go back to back as the Hornets win it all. And Chandler Wilson coming over from Minnesota is your finals MVP. This guy's an absolute stud. Unfortunately, OKC was able to beat us behind Monty Bates. DJ Wagner, yeah, two absolute studs. So player retirements, maybe, yeah, like, wait, Willard was in Hall of Fame last year and he retires this year, huh? Like, out of these guys, Kawhi will be the one to enter in Hall of Fame. I don't think Vucevic or Kemba will get it in real life unless they get multiple rings to them. Uh, there's Lillard and Kawhi heading to the Hall of Fame, so Lillard makes it twice, okay? Uh, we do have the Spurs first. I'm picking it's three! Oh my god, the Spurs were bad this year? Yes, 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 the Spurs were bad this year. And we have the third overall pick. No way. No way. And yeah, these coaching staff got a ring in their second year, which is crazy. Yeah, Melo and Chris Paul get their first rings. I don't know if they won it when they were players still. So the 2029 draft is here, and we have the third overall pick in the draft. Yes, we got very lucky from that San Antonio Spurs straight. So I'm going to get either Don Woods, Donnie Sykes, Cam Ross, one of these studs here, Otis Jennings. Let's see who's available at three for me. So the first two picks were uh, Cam Ross and Otis Jennings. Okay, so if we literally choose a prospect here, we can see that Donnie Sykes is here, but he's overseas. Ah, okay, so Dion Watts is also here, and we could use a center for the future because Donnie Sykes is going to be overseas for a year, and I don't know if I'm going to deal with that, but he's 19. But we look at Dion Watts, he's 19 compared to Alan Toscano, who's 22. So I think I'm going to go that route of Dion Watts, who is the 6th, 5th, and 3rd overall player in this draft, according to NBA.com 2K and Draft Express. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Let's hope he's a stud. He'll probably play over Cartwright next year. Yeah, Kem Ross is 79 at 19. Jennings, 75 at 21. Deion Watts is a 75 at 19. Come on. I can't complain at that. There is a 76-year-old, uh, but he's... Or a 76 overall, but he's a 22-year-old. So, honestly, I'm cool with that. Brian Wall looks pretty good, but I I'm cool with Deion Watts. We get Reed Murray at 27, and we get Lou Parks at 57. So, we take a look at team player options. Mm, Alexandris, you know, I'm not going to pick it up on, but we're going to pick it up on Munoz, Cartwright, and that is it. So we get to the Holmgren, Foster, Shake, uh, Kendall Brown, Ingram, uh, Simmons, all free agents, Murray and J.D. Davison. Honestly, like, Kendall Brown reminds me a lot of Brandon and Ingram, just kind of their play styles, especially in real life, too, just watching a little bit of Kendall Brown in high school and AAU ball. So we can see that we have Francis and Alexandris. Honestly, we're going to renounce rights on everybody here. But those two players, but if I get them back on the qualifying offer, I'm fine with that. So we are just going to re-announce on everybody but Alexandris and Francis. So let's just keep this going. We can see that also Giannis signs with the Spurs. He finally leaves the Bucks. Chet stays with the Kings. 
Foster stays with the Cavs. Cade stays with the Pistons. Shea stays with the Mavericks. Wow. Kendall Brown uh, stays with the Heat there. But Giannis finally leaves the Bucks. So I feel like Joel Embiid is the only player that's really like a stud in real life right now that has stayed with their team in this save. So we look at Embiid. Yeah, still a sixer. 35 years old, not what he used to be, but very impressive for Embiid. Got to shout him out. So, Francis, we are going to sign on a restricted deal. Player progression, um, we have Bronny James up to a 96. Kaminga and Chandler at a 90. Jarese Walker at an 89. And uh, I think Francis is at a uh, 84, which is very nice. So, let's go here to training camps. And we do have three on top potentials. So, let's just see here who is not an A+. Plus. So, let's send Francis. Let's send uh, Gary Cartwright, uh, Gerald Cartwright, and then let's send, finally, let me just go here to the untapped potential. We could send Deion Watts, our new fourth overall, or third overall pick here that we got from the Spurs. Honestly, I'm going to start him at the uh, center position over Cartwright, even though Cartwright has a little more experience. So he's going to get 20 minutes. He'll probably be the eighth man. Francis will get 22, Walker 27. Munoz, I think, will play over like Cotton and Murray and everybody else on this team. So... We'll give him, you know, 17 minutes. Yeah, I'm cool with the bench getting a decent amount. Let's give Watts probably more than that. Uh, it's going to be tough. So, Bronny's going to get 32 with um, Kennedy Chandler. Same with, oh, uh, God. Okay, so how do I figure this out? Honestly, I think Watts will get 23. Cartwright, yeah, 20 as a more experienced player. System proficiency is four stars, seven seconds. We're going to stick with that. Post-centric by Chris Paul is three and a half, so we'll stay with seven seconds or less. I'll see you guys at the end of the 2030 season. So we end the season as the two seed. Jalen Lewis of the Raptors, the 10th overall pick from 2024, is your MVP as a center. Kind of. I would say the first center in this uh, video to get our uh, MVP, but it's been so long ago. Jokic is probably one MVP. Honestly, though. I'm not sure. Cam Ross gets rookie of the year. He was selected first overall. So, hey, number one overall pick is rookie of the year. That should be expected. Shy Odom, sixth man of the year. Isaac, new team. <laughs> A new team, and he's still team as a player of the year. Actually, blows my mind. Jordan Hill most improved. Ah. I remember Jordan Hill, the Knicks drafted. Almost better than Steph Curry. He was a pick later. Yeah, almost better. Steve Nash takes home coach of the year. Joshua Burgish gets uh, home executive of the year. We see Dior Johnson, Carson Wallace, a couple guys we've talked about in this video. Uh, Michael Foster, Giannis on the Spurs. Jalen Lewis, NBA first team. NBA second team, uh, we do not get Jason Tatum. You see it in Bona, Matt Buley, LaMelo Ball on the Clippers. Third team, no Tatum. Damn, Jalen Suggs there. He's on his third team. Now, he was actually traded. I wonder what that trade was about. Like, what was involved in that, honestly? Uh, we do see all the first team. Oh, Neka Komu, 93 overall at the age of 29. And no Anthony Davis on all defensive second team. And then we probably... Oh, we do get Deion Watson on rookie first team. Look at that. Look at that. So, we are here as the two seed taking on the Rockets. who have Garland, Amari Bailey, Okoro, Wallace Barry Carroll, who's the number one overall... Or no, number two overall pick in 2025. And Nicole Jokic. Honestly, that's a very good 70 that we have to face up against. We are the 2 seed. We're led by Tatum, James, Jonathan Kuminga, who I did have to kind of max out. He's an expired free agent. Ah, I give him a lot of money. I might have given him too much money. But it's in his prime years from 28 to 31 years old. So I think we're going to be fine with that. Everybody else, maybe I'm going to wait till free agency where we have to pay them. But Walker and Chandler were great. And then you got Watts, Francis, Munoz, Cartwright, and that is the squad. So let's see if we can beat the Houston Rockets in the 2030 playoffs. And we are up 4-1. to one. Let's go. We end up beating them in five games. We can take a look here at the playoff stats. And we just see who did well in round one. It was led by Jason Tatum. No surprise here because he's been a finals MVP for us. He's an absolute stud. Taking on the Kings, who do have Dior Johnson, Adambona, and Chet Holmgren. So yeah, that's a good nice uh that's a nice big three do we beat them though and we beat them in six now we're taking on the utah jazz who we haven't played yet but they got murray suggs boston and anobi and murray sampson he was the first overall pick in 2026 he hasn't really lived up to a number one overall pick hype they do have tyler hero turn frank josh giddy okay how's he been not really anything special and alonzo mcleod do we beat them and go to the nba finals and we do. We end up beating them at six. And you have Lakers versus Knicks in NBA's dream. The two biggest markets in the NBA going at each other. They have Rick Isaacs, Adrian Griffin, Chase Griffin, the Griffin Wings, Matt Buley, and Jackson Hayes. They do out. So there's a Ryan Buley and Matt Buley. I, I think both of them are actually going to the overtime week. They got Shai Odom, Gary Trent Jr., Hamidou Diallo, and Lucas Shawmatch. Do we beat them and win the 2030 finals? We do. We beat them in seven. Tatum is your finals MVP. Tatum dropped 22 points. He didn't really shoot that well in Game 7, but who cares? We ended up winning by 11, and that is another Finals victory for the Lakers in this video. We look at NBA history. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 NBA Finals in this video. 
Wow, and I think we've lost one, right? Yeah, we ended up going to six. We've won five. I'll take it. So, retirements, you have like Kyrie, Warren, Nurkic, Schroeder, Parker, Rozier. All right, so I guess Kyrie might be the only guy in the Hall of Fame. Just kidding. You got AD, Kyrie, and Beal all heading to the Hall of Fame. Definitely respectable. Uh, Kyrie from the 2011 class, AD and Beal from the 2012 class. Let's reject all of these league meetings. And yeah, we don't have any lucky first round or lottery picks here. That we had last year from the Spurs. Even with one Bandiyama, I'm surprised. And that Wennington Rookie of the Year guy. But we have the 30th pick in the draft. So I'm just hoping to take a guy that will be under contract for the next four years. As much as I love Steve Kerr, I think I'm going to uh, bring in Chris Paul. Or bring back Chris Paul and Carmelo Anthony and LeBron James. I mean, we've won two NBA Finals with them. Oh, okay, we could bring in Russell Westbrook. Uh, so let's just get Chris Paul and LeBron. Um, we do have Pearson, so let's get a head scout. It could be Harvey Adrian. And then I do... Oh, Paul George is here. No, nah, no. Nah, I'm going to try to bring back Melo. Where is Melo at? Okay, honestly, I don't see Melo, which means we might get a new assistant coach here. So let's sort this by letter. And do we see Melo? No, we don't. Melo's on a new team. Okay, so that is just like... We're going to find a new assistant coach. Let's get a former player. You know, we can get PG-13, who played great tonight. I'm pretty sure the Clippers ended up beating the Jazz. Let's find that out. Jazz versus Clippers. Yeah, Clippers are up by 8 with 20 seconds left. I, I knew they were going to win. Wow, PG's going to actually give them a 3-2 to two lead. PG's got 37 points. 54 from the field, 33 from downtown. Shout out to PG with Kawhi with that ACL injury. I made a joke on Twitter because everyone's going to joke about it. But yeah, oh, is PG going to be able to win the Clippers? Probably not. Hey, they're up 3-2. to two. Uh, How cool would it be if PG just shuts up everybody and ends up bringing the Clippers to the NBA Finals? That'd be pretty dope, right? So I'm not going to make any moves here. We have our 30th pick on the draft night. Let's just see who we take. So the player we took, wow, it was Salisso Polest. Polista, 84 overall at 19 years old. That's kind of a stud. So we got Byron Young, 869 overall point guard, who's 18 years old, 6'2 out of SMU. And then we got Sergio Diaz there in the second round. So team by options, we got Munoz, Cotton, and Lou Parks. We could just sign all of those guys. Ah. No, nah, we don't really need to sign Lou Parks. So Benny Yama's a free agent. Lamelo, Bates, Cat. Gafford, Gafford's an 88. Damn, Capella's an 88. He's a free agent as well. Let's just give Cartwright the uh, qualifying offer, not uh, Macy and Jamius Ramsey. We could see that. Um, Just kind of the moratorium phase. Any free agents? Ray Francis, we don't have the qualifying offer on him finally, but I'm not going to be giving him mm, 15 million. I mean, we should. I, I might give him a two-year deal. So let's just give Ray Francis a two-year deal, and then we'll get uh, Cartwright back on the qualifying offer, most likely. So yeah, day 12, we get Macy and Cartwright back on the qualifying offers. Player progression is still looking good. We're trying to repeat this year. Wait, so when did we win? We ended up winning two years ago. Yeah, we ended up uh, not winning last year. It's a new day for me, right? It's kind of that new era with this team. We're kind of in the Brawny, Kennedy, Chandler, Kuminga era. We're going to see when that Tatum era is finally over. So we do have three training camps. Let's just see who's on top of, or a plus on top of potential and who isn't so we can send cart right there he's up from an a minus to an a we can send Dion watts there and i think we can send um munos there so yeah one of munos is a 78 overall let's send him there be plus to an a minus i'll take it so i think we're gonna give munos over cotton minutes yeah we're gonna give munos like 17 minutes uh let's give cart right 20 francis 21 Jarace walker 26 who's just been a stud for us throughout this video as the six man he's literally been how is he not won a six man of the year award correct i don't think he's won any day. Yeah, he's just been an NBA champion three times, but no six minute of the year, which is actually kind of crazy. Let's give Deion Watts 26 minutes. Kuminga 20. No, no, no. Let's go Tatum 35. Bronny 33. Let's go 32. Ah, uh, no, no. Let's go 31 of these guys. Bronny can get 33. We'll give Tatum 34. Let's go 33 and then 32 of these guys. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. Nine man rotation. Under system proficiency. No Lamella is an assistant coach, but we're four uh, stars, seven seconds or less with Chris Paul still. Post centric is three and a half, so we'll stick with seven seconds or less. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. And let's repeat. So we ended the season as a three seed. I feel like still competitive enough to win the championship this year. Dior Johnson, man. Remember when he was the sixth man for Indiana? Yeah, I think backing up Trey Young. He's now an MVP for the Kings. Wow, he's a beast. The last pick of the lottery in 2023. Uh, it's also Paulista. Yeah, rookie of the year, as expected. Looking over him. He's an 87 overall for Philly. So expected of the year. Oh, I wonder. Oh, I was going to say, I wonder who's backing up. No, he's probably backing up Trey Young. Our next going to defensive player of the year. Finally, no more Jonathan Isaac for BC over Ramirez. Most improved. Definitely deserved. Nick Nurse gets coach of the year. And David Powell, executive of the year. Same team. So you got Dior, Cade, Foster, Brown, and Jokic. Four guys that have been drafted in this video. And then Jokic. Wow, Jokic playing. Oh, he was traded? I kind of want to look at the transaction report to see what that trade looked like. Uh, we don't get any Lakers here. But you have Melo, Carson Wallace, and Jokic 
in the OMBA teams. Three Clippers, that is actually kind of insane. So if we look here, as we are the three seed taking on the Suns, let's take a look at this transaction report. What was Jokic traded for? So he was traded for Onyeka Kongwu, who ended up being Defensive Player of the Year. Wow, okay, that's pretty shocking. That is definitely shocking. So we just take a look here at the player stats for the 2031 season. We see that Bronny James had 21 hit points. He was our rating scorer, then Tatum, then Kuminga. So we have a lot of free agents at the end of this year. Like you look at the stats right now, but we look at front office, finances, side cap breakdown, Tatum free agent. Um, these guys were open to extensions, but not free agents. But Tatum and Chandler. Okay, those were the only two big free agents. And um, Jared Carvard, who's 85 overall. But yeah, we are here in 2031, which means we have another 10 years left of this rebuild, which is actually kind of insane. Someone's got Bradley, RJ Barrett. Okay, he's been on Golden State, uh, Utah, New York, and Phoenix in this. Jalen Johnson, Obi Top, and another former Nick who's been on Portland and Dallas and Denver. Wow, he's been kind of a little bit all over the place. Mitchell Robinson, another former Nick who's been in Philly, Detroit, Portland, now Phoenix. That's kind of crazy. So do we knock off the former New York Knicks team? Yeah, we end up sweeping them. Now we got the Pelicans. Who got Davian Mitchell, Moses Moody, a couple guys from the 2021 class. Uh, Brandon Ingram, Marvin Bagley, Ja Jackson, DeAndre Hunter, Jared Allen, Frank Beasley, and Aaron Irving. Do we knock them off and go to the conference finals? No, we do not. We end up losing at six. Okay, I was going to get very excited if we ended up beating them. So if I just take a look at the player stats play, uh, from the playoffs, yeah, all right, it is what it is. We'll see. Tatum is getting up there. He's 33 years old. Are we about to enter that new era of uh, Lakers basketball? We'll see. Pelicans end up winning it all. The team that beat us wins it all. So you know I'm fine with that. They end up beating, I believe, the Pistons. Randall, Levine, Embiid, Siakam, uh, Murray, they all retire. I think only Embiid will get the Hall of Fame award. Yeah, I, I think that'll be it. So let's just advance back to there. Uh, Ron Evans in. Um, who was the other guy? Mike Mullen. So yeah, I think it'll only be Embiid. And yeah, he's the only one that enters the Hall of Fame. He gets his jersey retired as well as Murray and Pascal Siakam. League meetings, let's reject all of these. Lottery, I'm sure we're just going to have what, the 27th pick in the draft? Makes sense. So, rookie signing, CJ Burden, uh, we ended up drafting at 27, a uh, backcourt man out of Seton Hall at 21 years old, and Travis Doyle there at 58. Honestly, that's a pretty good pick. So, we're gonna bring back everybody here, Watts, Cotton, Murray, and Diaz. We'll just see what the rotation's looking like. Bailey, Griggs, Edwards, Brown, Wiseman, Banchero, Baldwin, Lonzo Ball, all are free agents. That's actually kind of crazy. So, qualifying offers, we'll give Munoz the deal, and then let's just kind of see here who is in moratorium. So, we want to bring back Tatum. Them. We want to bring back Chandler. Munoz and Cartwright will work on, but Chandler, he doesn't have any real deals. So what I'm going to do is give him my five, uh, we'll give him my four-year deal, but we are going to front load that at 36 mil. Does he accept that? Mm, he did concept. Okay. So what I'm going to do is give him 37 mil. We're going to front load that. It'll save us money down the line. Uh, we're going to give him just a four-year deal. Boom. There we go. Tatum, he has real offers from the Knicks and I don't want to give him five years. I'm going to give Tatum three years worth 48 mil and we're going to front load. Nah, we're going to give him, yeah, 48.25 front load it. Please tell me that's enough. Eh, I'll give him a no check cost. Like I'll never, so let me give him 44 mil. Four years, front load that, just getting three years, no trade calls. Please tell me he accepts that. Uh, uh, it's at 99. We might lose Tatum. This might be a new era of Lakers basketball. Tatum might leave. He got us two final championships, but he might leave. We get Chandler. Tatum, it looks like, leaves us. He signs with the Sixers. Wow. All right. And we'll see if he makes it past here at Moratorium. Does he kind of fall up here again? No, he does not. So, yeah, Cartwright. Uh, I don't think we're going to give Cartwright a major deal. Um, I don't think we can, like, sign one of these, like, studs like Wilson. Yeah, we're 87 mil off because if we look here, wow, we have no Tatum anymore. It's a, kind of like a new team. So, finances, yeah, it's literally led by Kuminga, Bronny, Chandler, and Walker. Walker's our new starting small forward. So, you know what? I'm going to actually bring back Cartwright on a one-year deal just to see what he can do as our starting center. So... No, not a two-year deal. So let me bring him back on a one-year deal, and we should be chilling right there. And do we get cart right? Yeah, we do. So Juan Munoz accepts the qualifying offer. Play progression. We can see that this team, I don't know if it will win the championship next year. We will have to find out. So let's go here to training camps. We're just going to send, I guess, just three players that aren't A-plus potential to on tap potential. So we only have two now. Wow, Peterson may be regressed. So we'll send Francis and Cartwright. So we have Chandler, Bronny James. They're going to be getting a lot more minutes. Walker finally is going to start Kuminga and Cartwright. Then we got Francis, Watts, Munoz, and I guess Cotton will play. Yeah, so I guess Cotton will just be getting 15 minutes. We'll give Munoz 20. Watts will get 23. Francis, 26. Let's get Cartwright 29. I, I kind of want to fix these up. So let's go 33. 33. I'd like to give Kuminga more minutes. So let's go 
14, 19, 22, and 25. And then we can go Walker, 31, and then 33 to Kamiki. Yeah, like that starting five. And that badge will see. Oh, wait, we have one more minute. So we will give one more minute to Jerry's Walker. So says the proficiency is four and a half stars, seven seconds or less. We'll see how we do this year. Do we lose in round two? Let's find out in year, what is this, 12? All right, so at the end of the 2032 season, we end up as the five seed. Chet Holmgren gets his first MVP award. Thomas Carter, rookie of the year. He was selected fourth overall by the Pistons. Uh, Jalen Suggs, six home, sixth man of the year. O squared, six home, defensive player of the year. For the second year in a row, Casey O'Neill, most improved. And Mino Hollins, coach of the year. So do we see any Lakers? Tatum. Come on. Once he leaves the Lakers, he averaged 33 and a half points for the Sixers. I wonder if they were good this year. But all the first team averaging 33 and a half. Well, that kind of sucks. Shout out to Kuminga, though. Third team. I'll take it. Kuminga was still a stud for us. Yeah, I can't believe you fell us the 15 back in like our second year in this video, which feels like a lifetime ago. The Sixers didn't even... Oh, no, they made the pipes as the 17. They still have Jalen Brown. Okay. Yeah, Jalen Brown's loyal to them. We're taking on the four-seeded Rockets, who we've definitely played before. They have a great team. They don't have Jokic anymore. So we had Kuminga, Bronny James, Chandler, and Walker score 20+. Plus, and then you have Francis Cartwright, Watts, Munoz, and Cotton, and then Burden. So do we... Let's just simulate the playoffs. I'm going to turn around. I've never done this before in this video. Do we end up winning at all? Come on. Please, please, please. No, we ended up losing in round two. Oh, we lost in seven to the one seed of Kings. Hunter Salas' finals MVP for the Celtics. So we ended up losing to Dior Johnson and then Bona, Holmgren, Dem Vassell. Yeah, OG and Nobi, that's a great team. As they beat our, uh, they ended up losing to the Spurs though, but that, yeah, that's a tough team. AD finally retires. Wraps out his career with the Heat, which was just terrible. Yeah, his Heat tenure was not very good at all. Beal, Wiggins, honestly, Beal or Russell, Russell got a couple, like, he got an MVP award. He might go to the Hall of Fame. Let's find out who does. Stand retirement, Stotts, Clifford, and Dead Tony. And it's Davis, Cat, and Beal. So, d wins MVP, but does not go into the Hall of Fame. Cat gets his jersey retired by the Timberwolves. We are not going to approve any of these league meetings. We're going to hire Tyra Richard as our trainer. So, rookie signings. Let's sign Justin Burns. And let's sign Florian Kalmushi um, as our, our new rookies. We're going to uh, pick up the team option on Watts, Murray, Byron Young, and Travis Doyle. These three will probably be in our rotation next year. But Morant, $56 million opts out on. Kind of absurd. I probably should have increased the salary cap. So, Cotton kind of will give the qualifying offer too. I don't really know if he's going to come back. Do we have any free agents of our own? Wow. Uh, we do okay so we have munos i'm probably not gonna bring back cartwright i'm gonna say we might roll with watts francis i might give a one-year deal too if i can afford him which i think i can so let's just give francis a one-year deal and i'll see i might give cartwright a one-year deal as well just keep bringing these guys back on a one-year deal and boom there we go cotton diaz like we really don't need to bring back at all so yeah um you know we have other guys that we can just roll with so i'm gonna bring out some rights on those and we're chilling for next year. All right, so here's a rotation. 33 minutes to the backward, 32 to the forwards, 26 to Cartwright, and Francis Watts, uh, Byron Young, who's playing his rookie season, as well as Reed Murray, will be the last two men to the rotation. We'll see how they ball out for us. Four and a half stars, seven seconds or less. It's it's championship or bust each season, so let's see how we do at the end of the 20. 33 season tam this is what our 13th year so we end up as the fourth seed at the end of the 2033 season kendall brown is your defensive player of the year that's kind of new frank vogel former lakers coach is your coach of the year you know what it's gonna happen we don't see any lakers on any of these teams but hey we do get john thinking going all david's the second team i'll take it he's an absolute stud for us we might have to bring him back just to make him a laker for life it's kind of the new era we're taking on kyra lewis chandler wilson man this guy's been in Minnesota, Charlotte, Golden State, he's a stud. Jalen Green, Jimmy Oliver, Harold Lawson. Like, this is a very solid Warriors team that we do have to respect. Taking on or looking at the player stats. Four 20-point per game scores in Walker, James, Chandler, and Kuminga. And then you have Deion Watts, who's not even our starting center. I think I gotta start him over Carrey next year. So let's see. Do we knock on the war or knock off the Warriors? And oh wow, this isn't good. We get swept. Okay, we haven't done anything in the last like four years, right? Like we look at the past champions. The last two years, and this is going to be the third year, we have yet to do anything in the Western Conference, which is embarrassing. Maybe I make a big move this offseason. Foster, who's a former MVP, finally gets an NBA championship. Uh, that Cavs team is also, they have Mikey Williams. They have Gregory Galloway, Trey Mann, or Terrence Mann, Trey Mann, Bull Bull, Cam Rush, not bad. So Jokic, Miles Turner, Ben Simmons, DeJounte Murray, Mitchell Robinson, they all retire. Stanford retirement, Shea Triano, and John Lucas Hall of Fame. You got Jokic and Ben Simmons. 
And yeah, those are the guys that get their jersey retired. Jokic gets his jersey retired by the Rockets. I mean, he was there for seven years, but not the Nuggets. Damn, okay. Simmons does get his jersey retired by the uh, 76ers. Taking a look at the draft lottery, we are going to be selecting at pick 27. Rookie signings, we end up with Seth Allen, a 21-year-old 6'9 power forward out of ASU. We got Rick Smartin Jr. and Florian uh, Kalamushi, who is an overseas player. We're going to pick up the option on Byron Young, who's an 83 overall, and CJ Burden. You have Holmgren, Brown, Cunningham, and Sexton, who are going to be unrestricted free agents. Let's give Murray Watts and Doyle, and he's not that serious, but we're going to give them the qualifying offers. They want 33 mil... Oh, Cartwright once and Francis... Honestly, we're going to let them walk. I, I really don't need to keep bringing them back. So we're going to renounce the rights on Cartwright and Francis. But bring back Deion Watts and Reed Murray on the qualifying offers, which we do have for them, right? Yeah. So, you know what? Let's just go right here to play a progression. Do we get those guys back? I'm not playing any games anymore. If they don't want to come back, they don't want to come back. We're going to go with a new era. We have to build a team that will win a championship, though. And I, I think we still need to do a little bit much in the next, like, seven years of this rebuild. So we do get Doyle. We get Watts, and we get Murray back on the qualifying offer. Play progression. Bron and James. Can he lead us to a championship with Walker, um, Kuminga, and Chandler? Let's find out. All right, so I've never really had yeah a, a choice at the ninth man in the rotation, so I guess I'll give the minutes to CJ Burden. Uh, we do have Justin Burns, who was the 24th overall pick in 2032. Like, you guys are probably as lost as I am. Uh, we'll give Reed Murray 20. We'll give Byron Young, who's kind of a big part of our team, 27 minutes. And 26. We'll give Watts 28. Can we get 33? Um, okay, perfect. So these guys will get 35. We'll go 33 to Walker. And we'll give one more to Jonathan Kuminga. We'll see how well this team does under Chris Paul. Four stars, seven seconds, which has been the lowest it's been in a minute. Post centric is three stars, so we'll stick with seven seconds or less. So let me actually change uh, Chris Paul's preferred system. So yeah, let me move that to seven seconds or less. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. I mean, we'll see how we do. I might have to make a big move in the offseason and acquire like a stud big man because I don't know. We have what, like six, seven, eight years left of this rebuild. Like I, I feel like I need to make a big move to try to make our team elite again and try to win another championship before this video ends because I don't want to go through like the second half of this rebuild not winning a championship at all. So we finish up as the three seed here in the Western Conference. Chad Holmgren on his new team, the Milwaukee Bucks, takes home MVP. Lucas Starks is your rookie there. He was selected. He kind of looks like Zach Randolph a little bit. Just kind of the body uh, shape and size, like honestly the frame. Uh, he was the fifth overall pick in the 2020 or 2033 NBA draft. That's crazy. Sharif Cooper still in the NBA. All right, from the 2021 draft. He's a 13 years pro. Sharif Cooper is 31. That's how like deep into this rebuild we are. When Benny Yama takes on defensive player of the year on the Spurs, Byron Young most improved, AK. Okay. All right, we get a uh, most improved player. And Chad Iske is your uh, coach of the year. So I don't know. Okay, I was going to say, do we get a, all, any all NBA teams? Because we have it in a minute. But Bronny takes some all NBA first team. Man, I might, like, I should probably increase the shot, like, uh, tendency because 56 on the field. 44 from three, 98 from the line. This dude's an absolute beast. Like an absolute beast. Second team and third team were probably not getting any Lakers. We don't get anything else besides Justin Burns on our rookie first team. But wow, Bronny James is literally a superstar for us. If we take a look at the players that team, let us some scoring. Jonathan Kaminga and Kenny Chandler were also uh, plus 20 points. We'll see how we do in these playoffs. Like, do I have to make a big move in the offseason? Do we beat the Kings? We do. We beat them in five. And now we have the seven seeded Spurs who have Trey Young and Killian Hayes in the backcourt. And they also have Victor Wembanyama. They also have Lonzo Ball. All right. Uh, I mean, our luck might end uh, or run out here. Let's see. We are tied three to three and we end up losing in seven. Damn it. All right. I don't know. I feel like I should make a trade. I feel like I got to pull the trigger on something. The Blazers win it all. Dior Johnson is your finals MVP, man. This guy's been all over. And now he's in Portland winning finals MVP for them. Good for him. Good for him. They also have Josh Jackson, who's a beast. They have uh, Sheldon Edwards, who's all right. They got Jalen Washington. It's a good team. They beat the Bucks, who had Holmgren, Carlisle, Huntley, Hatfield, Bull Bull. It's all right. So I don't know if I should make any move, but Giannis is retiring. Devin Booker, Cat guys from the 2015 2013 draft class. Donovan Mitchell from the 2017 draft class has retired. Wow. And we almost signed him over Jason Tatum. DeMontis Sabonis and a Smith Jr. How did his career end up? Now, I mean, we see he kind of played throughout the whole, like, his whole career. We see he didn't end up being a guy that wasn't going to end up playing. There's Alan Fultz, Jalen McDaniels. Wow. 
A lot of guys are retiring. We take a look at uh, player retirements. Let's advance their staff retirements. Vogel retires. Derek Irving. Hall of Fame. It's Giannis, Cat, and Booker. So no Donovan Mitchell heading to the Hall of Fame. All right, I'm going to sign Bradley Beal to be one of our assistant coaches. So we signed Chris Paul, Bradley Beal. Maybe uh, Paul George is gone. Honestly, yeah, Paul George and LeBron are both gone. We're signing Nikola Jokic and Bradley Beal to be our assistant coaches. Harvey, Adrian, yeah, let's pick up there. And boom, there we go. So we got Connor Steele at 24, a 72 overall, 19-year-old, 6'8 power forward out of Kentucky, and Kurt Murphy. So team player options, let's pick it up on Burns, Burden, Martin, and uh, Kamushi. Honestly, let's just pick it up on everybody. Here are all the free agents. Jason Tatum who had two great years in Philly. Last year wasn't great. He's definitely regressing at 36 years old, so that makes a lot of sense. Uh, let's pick up the qualifying offers on those guys. Moratorium right here. Kuminga, we got to pay. I'm going to front load any deal he gets, but geez, that's a lot of money. We'll even accept that. Okay, he might. Uh, Byron Young restricted, so we'll take the qualifying offers. Uh, Watts, let's just front load that for 16 mil. No, he doesn't accept that. Okay, so let's give him 1650 mil. Uh, and not flat. Okay, let's just front load that, please. And boom, there we go. Murray, we can also... Oh, he doesn't even want to sign with us. So we get Kuminga and Watts. That's what I'm talking about. And then, I mean, I know, uh, Brian, Byron Young will get back on the qualifying offer because he wants 33 mil a year. Yeah, no, thank you. Reed Murray. I mean, we can look to make a trade with Reed Murray after we get him. Okay, so if I were to make a move, honestly, I was going to try to move Jerace Walker, but I'm gonna th I think I'm going to try another year. I, I was thinking about this Ron Jackson and Joey Patton move. His Joey Patton's only 21 years old. Ah, uh, I mean, what was his draft? He was the first overall pick in 2032 for Jerace Walker, Reed Murray. Do I do this? Honestly, I probably should. Yeah, we're going to trade Jarese Walker, Reed Murray, and Connor Steele for Joey Patton and Ron Jackson. Ron Jackson is a 27-year-old wing out of USC. And Joey Patton's a number one overall pick, just third in his league, or in the league, out of Air Force. So let's accept those offers. We're going to hopefully everybody back on the qualifying offer. So we get Andre Fields back on the qualifying offer. Travis Doyle, Byron Young. There we go. That's the main one. So here is player progression. Let's see with Ron... Oh, Ron Jackson regressed. Okay, that's not great. So Chandler, Brawny, let's give these guys 33 minutes. Kuminga, 32. I guess Justin Burns and Deion Watts. Ugh, I mean, no, no. I want to play Ron Jackson, so he's going to be at the three. I just don't really know how this team is going to work out, right? So let's just go with these guys 20 minutes. Burden can get... 14. Yeah, I guess we could do that. So we have nine minutes left over here. Let's go Ron Jackson, 32. Kaminga, these guys, 34. And let's get the rest of Deion Watts. We'll see how this nine-man rotation goes with Justin Burns, who was our 24th pick in 2032. Joey Patton was the number one overall pick in 2032. Honestly, let's go like 18 and 22. Let's do that. And then Burden will get 40, or, uh, 14 minutes. Yeah, he was the tw uh, 27th pick in 2031. So this is a system proficiency under Chris Paul still. Can't speak. This point of the video, four stars, si uh, seven seconds or less. We'll see how he does. And I'll see you guys at the end of the 2035 season. This is the longest rebuild I've done in a minute. The only rebuild that I think has touched this is my Greg Popovich challenge. But it really was just trying to get to the playoffs. I really didn't care about the rebuild too much. Too much. This is me literally trying to win an NBA championship at 20 in 2035. It's tough. So we are the two seed here in the Western Conference at the end of the 2035 season, which is actually crazy. Here's the NBA first team. You got Cam Ross, who was a first overall pick from a while ago on the Bulls, and he's been a stud out of Duke, just the next Duke prodigy. NBA second team, we got Bronny James. I, I'm down with that, and that is probably our only Laker, but we do get Kaminga on all defensive second team, which is very nice. So we're the two seed, right? We go 16-22. We should be able to go to the conference finals this year, taking on the Rock once again, what's uh, like once again, which they have been like our biggest rivals maybe for the last like five years. We have uh, like it's feel like we have faced them every time we've made the playoffs. Like we're just facing the Rockets in round one or round two. These guys get 20 points per game scoring. Even Ron Jackson, about 20 points. Was he efficient? 61% true shooting. I will definitely take that as I had a voice crack right there. Do I want to mess with the shot tendencies? Let me check real quick. So, uh, Bronny James, we can honestly make a 95. Kenny Chandler, 90. Kuminga, 90. Ron Jackson, we can make like an 85. Byron Young, 70. And then everybody else we can kind of just fluctuate with. So, do we beat the Rockets in round one? We should, right? We're the two seed, they're the seven seed. Boom. We win in five. That's all I'm asking for. So, we take a look at the playoff stats. Kaminga led the way, and then followed by Bronny James. So can we knock off the Kings here in round two? They have Naw, they have Vassell, they have Edamota, they have Bayfall. 
who's just, oh my god, he's so good. He's so good at 29 years old, but he's in his prime. They have Marcus Bagley. I wonder where Marvin Bagley's at. So, do we beat the Kings? Boom, we sweep them. Now we're taking on the Blazers, who got Dior Johnson, Jose Guzman, Tevon Kinsey, Jalen Washington, John Jackson. Ah, oh, that's good. It's very good. Do we beat them and go to the finals here in 2030? Five. Yes, we do. Let's go. We're in the finals, taking on the Milwaukee Bucks. Who have Kanan Carlisle, Ray Paul, Henrik Enquist, uh, BHH, and Chad Holmgren. They have a bunch of guys that I don't know, but then they have BHH Holmgren, who's a ninety-nine. I mean, BHH is ninety-five, and they have De'Aaron Fox, who's at the end of his career at thirty-seven years old. Fox is thirty-seven. Lakers versus Bucks, and the Bucks swept us. Wow, we get embarrassed in the finals. Shen Holmgren is your finals MVP. Game one, we lost by six. Damn, game two, we end up losing by five. Game three, we end up losing by eight. Damn, all these games were within 10 points besides game four, which we go we got blown out by by 28 points. Damn. So, Brown, Fox, Trent, let's see if any of these guys head to the Hall of Fame. There's actually no Hall of Fame uh, inductees, so yeah, none of those guys make it to the Hall of Fame. Damn, so Jeff Lottery, we are selecting at 28. Once again, a very late first on pick for like the fifth year in a row. So we signed Benjamin Hamilton to be our CFO. We get Timmy Marshall here at the 28th pick, 6'7 wing out of Providence, and then we get Brandon Strong in the second round. Pick up all these guys with our team options. You got Hardy, Bailey, Griggs, Washington, Baldwin, Moran. You got a bunch of studs there entering free agency. Burden, yeah, we'll just honestly offer all these guys the qualifying offer. We're just so cap hit, so like it really doesn't matter what we do at this point. So, Bird Rights, Kenny Chandler, I mean, I'm gonna front load that contract, but he's gonna make a lot of money for me. Um, and then that is it. Uh, Byron Young, I would like to bring back, but just on a one year deal because that's just so much money 30 mil for somebody that's not even a starter for us. So, let's just get all those guys back. And then we'll hopefully get everybody back on the qualifying offers. So play progression, Bronny's a 98. Bronny's only 30 years old. That's actually absurd. We got him when he was about 19. Kennedy Chandler's 32. Coming at 32. Do we move on to a new era in LA? Possibly. So we got Chandler, James, Kuminga, Burns, Patton as our starting five. Honestly, I'm going to let 2K roll with it. I'm going to let you get roll, roll with it. Patton was the number one overall pick from Brooklyn that we acquired. We got Young, Jackson, Watts, Burden, Allen. They, they want to do a 10 round bench. I'm going to try the 2K year. We'll see if it works out. Since the proficiency is four stars, seven seconds with Chris Ball. Stick with that. See you guys at the end of the 16th season, I think this is. Or maybe the 15th. I don't even know at this point. I'm losing track. All right. So at the end of the 2036 season, we are the one seed. Chet Holmgren takes home. I think he's like second MVP now. No, no. That might be his third. Oh, just kidding. It's his fifth MVP. So he's won it definitely with multiple teams. He's got definitely has it with Milwaukee, Sacramento. And I'll see. Oh, that's only his two. Teams. Okay, so he's only one over two uh, different teams. Byron Young takes home six men of the year. Hey, so at least we got some award here. And that is pretty much it here. As on first team, we got nobody. On the second team, we have nobody. And do we get Bronny? No, we don't get Bronny on third team. So the only thing we get, actually, we get no awards here. Even though we were the one seed, we go 59 and 23. Take it on Sharif Cooper. Wow, Sharif Cooper and the Mavericks. Sharif Cooper was pretty good in his 33-year-old season, which is crazy because he's now been in the league for 15 years and he's about to get drafted in real life. You got DJ Henry, Paul Ventura, Zion. He's regressing. Zion is regressing at 35 years old now for the Mavericks. He's been on Brooklyn. He's been on Chicago. And now he's on Dallas. Okay. And then they got Jalen Duran, who's really good. But how old is Jalen Duran? He's 31. All right. So let's see if we can knock off the Mavericks. Actually, let me, before we just kind of take a look at the stats. Our winning score was Bronny, followed by Kennedy Chandler, who's 32. Maybe this is the offseason. I got to change things up, right? I'm probably going to move, like, somebody in this offseason. We can't keep keeping this the same as we end up beating the Mavericks in six. Very nice. But we got Portland. Who's been very good in the Western Conference over the last couple of years. So let's see if we can knock off Portland and go to the Western Conference Finals. All right, sorry. You probably guys just heard my webcam mic there. I didn't have my uh, Elgato mic recording. So let's just see here. We're in the Conference Finals. Take on the Sacramento Kings. We should beat them even though Adembona is a 99 overall. Bayfall's a 92. Come on. We should beat them, right? We should beat them and go to the Finals. And boom, we beat them in five. So we're in the Finals once again, which we were in last year too. So... Let's hopefully beat the Bucks and not get swept by them. Because, I mean, it's a good team. It's definitely a good Bucks team. They got Chad Holmgren, the best player in the NBA. And they sweep us again. So, two years in a row, the Bucks have swept us. Yeah, we got to make some big trade in this offseason. Brandon Ingram retires. Jason Tatum 
ends up retiring. He was on the Pacers. Bam out of bio retires. DeAndre Aiden, Shea, Trey Young. Wow. Bunch of guys retired. Even Bull Bull retires. A bunch of coaches. Emeo Doka was the head coach for the Sacramento Kings. He's calling it a quits. Jason Tatum, Trey Young, Shea Gilgis, Bam, and Ingram all head to the Hall of Fame. Shout out to the 2018 draft class and Trey and Shea. Shout out to the 2017 and Bam and Tatum. And then Ingram was the lone guy from 2016. So a lot of jersey retirements. Tatum by the Celtics, and we even retire his jersey. Shea by the Mavericks, Trey Young by the Pacers, Bam by the Heat, and Brandon Ingram by the Pels. He's been on the Pels. His basically whole career besides the last few years. So trainer, we're just going to bring in or bring back Tyler Richard, I'm pretty sure. So let's go to the NBA draft. Do I move Kennedy Chandler? I, I think we should maybe move Kennedy Yeah, Kennedy Chandler. Kaminga's also 33. What about if I try to move my 33-year-olds? I can, give up, I can pick up Bojan Jovanovic. Oh, I mean, Jovano, Jovanovic. There we go. So Jovanovic, we could pick up. Killing A's, but he's 35. So I'm kind of just looking here. Jalen Washington and Jaw Jackson. Springer and Dan Justice. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should try to move one of them. Like, what if I just try to move Kennedy Chandler? We could pick up Brandon Boston, who's been a beast throughout his career, but he's also 33 years old, so probably not a great idea. I don't know. Like, I feel like I should move him. And getting Bojan Jovanovic at 29 is probably the move. It's kind of a nice swap. We move Bronny back to the point guard. He's a couple years younger. Yeah, you know what? Let's pick up Bojan. Let's do it. So we'll still keep uh, Jonathan Kuminga. We are going to draft Magnus Eklund here, he's an overseas player. One year overseas, not too bad. And then we do have Patrick Barber. So let's go here to two player options. Alan Strong, we can bring back. Cunningham, a quarter was a 90 at 35. Damn, he's been a big part of Houston's kind of history. He's also been on New York. He's been on the Clippers, Brooklyn, San Antonio. He's kind of been all over the place. Kill Love, another UNC guy. And I also think I saw Luka Doncic there in the players that are going to be free agents, right? Is Luka Doncic here? Um... Unless Luca is regressing. I thought he was here, but maybe not. Yeah, I am not seeing Luca. Mm, okay. Maybe. Oh, no, there is Luca. Okay, he's 37 years old. He's an 87 overall. Luca is so old. So if we look at our free agents, jeez. Uh, uh, Bronny's a free agent. Ugh, I gotta pay him, right? Yeah, I'm gonna give Bronny just a two year deal, but we're gonna give him like 50 mil a year with a no trade clause. Burns and Patton are restricted. Byron Young, we might let walk. Honestly, though, if I can bring back Byron Young on a one-year deal... Oh, we definitely can, because... Okay. So, we're going to bring in Bronny James. We'll bring back Bronny James and um, Byron Young. And then we'll get Burns and Patton back on the qualifying offers. So, taking a look at player progression, I don't know if this team is going to be able to go back to the finals. It sucks that Kuminga is regressing. He's definitely a trade candidate next offseason. I mean, we got and swept two finals in a row. We probably need to make another big move. I know we traded away... Uh, Kennedy Chandler after being a Laker for a while, and we ended up picking um or picking up Bojan Jovanovic, but we probably have to make another move. So Bojan will okay. So we have Young, James, Kuminga, Burns, Patton, uh, Jovanovic. I still can't say his name. Uh, Ron Jackson, who's an 81. Bro, I feel like when I picked him up, I I, I forget. My memory is terrible in this rebuild, but I feel like he was an 86 overall. So he's regressed. We have Marshall and Allen. Allen will not be playing that many minutes. So Marshall will get like 14. Watts can get 24. And then we'll just play these guys those. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I'm probably going to have to make a bunch of moves next offseason. I'm just trying to figure out what year this has been. So it's been 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 years. So we have four more seasons to go. Let's get into it. Another year, another one seed for us, and another Chet Holmgren MVP. Here are the awards. Chet gets his, I think, first defensive player of the year of this video. Dusty May, almost the uh, pitcher name for the LA Dodgers, gets most improved player. Yeah, I mean, but he's a sophomore, though. Chris Paul, coach of the year. Hey, we finally get... Our coach of the year. Do we get any Lakers on an All NBA team? We do get Bronny on All NBA second team. Is that a career high in points? 25.6, I think it is. Eight assists, 57, 46, 99 splits, 70% true shooting for Bronny. That's actually absurd. That's all we get, but we are once he's taking on the Kings, who I feel like is another rival for us because I feel like we're always facing the Kings or the Rockets in the NBA playoffs. So taking a look here at the player stats, Bronny led the way. Bojan, number two, and then you got Kaminga, Byron Young, Ron Jackson. Okay, so I feel like this is the year that I'm going to turn around 
and do semi playoffs, and we're just going to win it all, right? So tell me we won it all. I'm going to turn around right now, and oh, we're still going, we're still going, and we end up losing in the finals once again. Celso Paulista, who's the number one overall pick a couple years ago, oh, we end up only winning one game. That hurts so much. Game one, and it was game one, and then they went four and answered. Oh my god, so if we look at the NBA history right now, we can see that we have lost the last three NBA finals, and we are 12 and 1 in those. Oh god, I, I don't know what to say. We're getting to the finals, so we still have a really good team, but we can't win it all. So Luka should probably go into the Hall of Fame. Same with Ja, right? A lot of coaches retire, okay? Does Luka and Trey, or uh, it's Luka and Ja, not Luka and Trey, but Luka and Ja go to the Hall of Fame. Luka gets his jersey retired by the Hawks and the Mavericks, and then Ja by the Grizzlies. Makes sense. We get the 29th pick in the draft. No shocker there. We could bring in Ryan Johnson as our assistant GM. Chilling there. I don't think I'm going to make any moves. I mean, we could look to move Ron Jackson and Jonathan Kuminga in a package deal. See if we can get any youngins that could push us over that edge. Nick Newton and Wilfred Drake. Doesn't really look like it's worth it. So I think I'm going to just try to move Ron Jackson, uh, Magnus Eklund, and our 29th pick. And I think we're going to get a 35-year-old Jalen Green. Yeah, we're going to do this trade. We're going to trade Jackson Eklund, our first this year, and our 2040 first round pick for Darren Houston and Jalen Green. So boom, let's get that done. Let's pick up the team option on Timmy Marshall and Patrick Barber. A couple other free agents. You got Brandon Boston and a bunch of guys that I don't really know. Hey, we see Killian Hayes still there. So qualifying offers, we'll give these guys the qual uh, the QOs, basically. And then Moratorium. Let's see if there's anybody I want to bring back. Byron Young, I mean, I'd like to lock him up long term, so let's do that. And then everybody else, Joey Patton, I'd like to bring back too. So we get Patton and Young. Do I have to sign one of those guys on a one-year deal? Nope. And then everybody else, I think it's fair game. Yeah, now nah, we're going to get them back on the qualifying offer, so we're chilling. All right, so it's going to be Byron Young, Bronny James, Kuminga at how old is he? 35. Yeah, Jonathan Kuminga is 35 years old. That's how deep we are into this rebuild. We got Justin Burns at the four, Joey Patton at the five. Yo, Yo Vanovich. Yo Vanovich as the sixth man. Jalen Green, Dion Watts, uh, Timmy Marshall will be the ninth man. So we do have about eight more minutes to play with. Kamei can get 28, Patton can get 30, and then let's go, I don't know, three more to Deion Watts, who I thought was going to be a really good player. That was that Spurs pick that lucked out. He's really never amounted to too much for our team. We're four stars, seven seconds or less. Let's hopefully make it to the finals, which we've done the last three years, but this time actually win it and make it competitive at least. All right, so this is our third to last season, and we are the one seed. Cam Ross on the Cavs, so no more in Chicago. He stays in the Central Division. He wins MVP. Chris Paul gets coach of the year. Let's go at this point. It's me. That's executive of the year. Uh, we can see that all NBA teams. We do get Bronny on all NBA third team. I'm cool with that. Bronny James still carrying us. He's a 98 overall at the age of 32. It's actually a team that we're at this point where Bronny James, somebody that's like 18, 17 in real life, is leading us to a one seed in the year 2038. You got Jovanovic there as our sixth man. You got Kaminga, Jalen Green. He's going to, at the end of, this, end of his career, might have to trade him in the offseason. We got a bunch of guys that are double digits. Dustin Burns, Joey Patton, and Byron Young as well. Pelicans, honestly, let's see if we can win the NBA Finals. Uh, I want to go at least go to it, which we beat the Pelicans, sweep the Suns, and we lose in seven. Oh, my God. The Celtics beat us. Amari Bailey is your Finals MVP. At least it was competitive. But if we look at the week history, we have lost four NBA Finals in a row. What are we, the Buffalo Bills? The New York Islanders? I, I I really don't know. It's honestly a shame. Sexton retires. Kobe White, Vassell, Halliburton. We'll see if any of these guys make it to the Hall of Fame. J.D. Davison, Jalen Johnson. Yeah, no, there's nobody that's a Hall of Famer. Uh, Steve Kerr retires. But yeah, we don't see any Hall of Fame um, setting here in the offseason. So Jeff Fonny will do through this once again. We have the, what, 29th pick. I think I'm going to move it because I'm sick of getting to the NBA Finals but losing. So I want to bring Chris Paul as our, back as our head coach. We could sign Ja Morant as our assistant. I mean, I feel like we got it. We can get Trey Young. Shea as an assistant. Oh my God. Where is Ja Morant though? So let's sign Ja who's got A- minus offense and A potential. So we get both those guys. Uh, let's go out and get a head scout. It could be Harvey Adrian. Or no, it could be... No, no, Nikola Jokic is a assistant coach. But no, let's get Joy... Oh, it's not Joyce Randall. It's Jocelyn Randall. Okay, give me Jocelyn Randall as our... Um as our head scout and then as our assistant coach let's get trey young so it's chris paul with two prodigy point guards as randall 
Okay, no, let me do that. Yeah, there we go. So we get Randall and we get Trey Young. Beautiful. So like I said, I want to make a trade because we keep losing in the NBA Finals. Uh, I think it maybe comes down to Green and Kaminga. What can I get? So it's going to be Alan Toscano, who's a stud center and a future first round pick, but he's a 90 overall. So boom, there we go. All right, so free agents, who do we have? So we got Bronny. We have to bring back Bronny James. And we'd actually have a max slot if we didn't want to bring back Bronny, but I will. Uh, Deion Watts, I want to bring back. I want to bring back uh, Jovanovic, and I want to bring back Burns. Actually, I'll, I'll have to do that after day one. So let me bring back Burns real quick, and then we're chilling. 36 mil to Burns to Justin Burns. Damn, we got to do it, though. All right, so we're in our second and last season. I need to win at least one more championship. We're playing Bronny at the three. Burns at the four, it's kind of at the five. We need to win at least one more championship before this video ends. I don't want to do a 10-man rotation. I'm cool with Kurt Murphy getting like 14 minutes. Uh, Deion Watts getting like 19. Marshall, 20. Patton, 27 because we got Toscano. But let me go with like two more to Burns. Actually, no. Let me go two more to Yo, uh, Vanovich. I don't know. Let's see what happens. We got Bronny. I will give these guys 31 apiece in the front court. System proficiency is four stars, seven seconds or less. I just want to win one more championship before this video ends. We have literally lost the last four NBA finals. Let's hope that changes this is or changes this year. All right, another year, another one seed. Kanan Carlisle. I, yeah, I remember him in Milwaukee. He gets MVP. Probably even butchering his name. And of course, Kenny Chandler takes some award. Sixth man of the year in Charlotte. He's been there for three years. I mean, like, what other point guard is he dealing with in Charlotte? It is Donnell Pierce, who's actually a beast. Okay, Kendall Brown, Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, we don't get any awards there. Do we get any Lakers on any of these teams? Bronny takes home career high in points, though. Career high, not in true shooting. But takes home all base second team. And that is going to be it. We are the ones he's taking on the Thunder of Johnny Brown, Keontae George, Jonathan Kuminga Revenge Series. He's an 81 overall. Foster, former MVP. Cameron Barnes. All right, we'll see about this. And then player stats, you can kind of see it right here. Uh, Jovanovic and Bronny James and Byron Young. So you have Bojan, Bronny, and Byron leading the way in scoring. Let's see if we can win the NBA Finals in the second and last year. We sweep the Thunder, beat the Rockets at five, sweep the Suns. And yes, we win another Finals before this video ends. We beat the Nets. Bronny James is your Finals MVP. We swept the Nets. Let's go. So we have one more uh, season left. I'm just glad we won a championship. LaMelo, Zion, Jalen Suggs, Jalen Washington, and Killian Hayes all enter the Hall of Fame here. The retired jerseys. Honestly, I think I'm going to run this team back. If we could win it last year, we could win it this year. So, you know, let's just give everybody the qualifying offers. Moratorium. Let's just see who we have to re-sign. So, Toscano, we should bring back on a five-year deal. Uh, Marshall's restricted. Murphy, we can bring back on a two-year deal. And boom, there we go. So, Toscano actually signs with the T-Wolves. All right. So, that kind of sucks. Um, I guess we could see if he makes it past moratorium. And it looks like he did not. So, that actually sucks a lot. All right. So, for the final year, we have Byron Young, who's literally been a beast for us. The last pick in the first round in 2030. He's kind of been like our own Jimmy Butler. You got Jovanovic. You got Bronny. You got Justin Burns, who was, what, the 24th pick in 2032. And Joey Patton, who was the number one overall pick in 2032 as well. We got uh, Timmy Marshall, Deion Watts, Kurt Murphy, and Darren Houston. That is going to be it. I'll give him 15. Murphy can get 18. And we'll give one more to Deion Watts. System proficiency is four stars, seven seconds or less on Chris Paul. We end up winning the finals in our second and last year. Let's see. This is the final season. This is the 20th year of the 20th or of the 20 season rebuild. That's actually absurd. Let's see what happens at the end of the 2040 season. So in the final season of the 2020 rebuild, a man by the name of Jason Wright, who was drafted in 2035, wins MVP with the Spurs. The Spurs have had a lot of MVPs throughout this video. We ended up with any NBA teams. Let's see. Yeah, we do get Bronny in all NBA third team. He's had a great career for us. You know, he actually might have the best year of his career at age 34. Getting all NBA third team. We are the 14 ticket on the Grizzlies in round one. Can we win it all in our final season together? Honestly, let's just find out. Let's see what we can do. Let's just simulate the playoffs here. And we beat the Grizzlies. We sweep them. Do we beat this one seeded Spurs? No, we end up losing. Damn. Damn. That really hurts. So the Wizards end up winning it all. Eric Swift is your finals MVP. So that is it. That is the 20-year rebuild right there. I hope everybody enjoyed that. Watch this video. If you did enjoy, feel free to drop a thumbs up. I mean, 20 years, it is kind of crazy. If we look at the league history, we can see that we ended up winning one. Wow, we went on a very big job. We almost went on a 10-year job. So we won one, two, three, 
four, five, six championships together. We ended up going to how many though? We ended up losing one. We ended up losing two, three, four, five. So we ended up winning six NBA championships and losing five. We could have won 11 championships in this video. That would have been kind of crazy. So drop a like if you guys did enjoy. Let's see if this video can get it 3,000 likes. Let's see if you guys get 3,000 likes. I'll do this again with a team that has a ton of assets like the Pelicans or like the Thunder, whatever you want to see down below. So thank you all for watching. If you watched to the end of this video, it's probably like one of my longest videos ever that wasn't a live stream. So if you're still watching, I appreciate that a lot. I love you guys. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.